No, Talk wouldn't. to him. That's how I do right Cash there. got you working in here? Oh, shut up. That's because y'all both old niggas that still smoke pot. No, bro. Nigga talking about he don't know the old joints. That's, oh, man. That's old school nigga. iron lines. I don't know about my blunts, nigga. Leather, nigga. Yeah, hey. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I mean, tobacco only. Yeah, man. See it? Chill. FB Radio. I am your host, Charlie Machine, alongside the Empress, ah. Chanel Shante. What's up? She, she, she hasn't been here for a little bit, man. She, I know. She was I sick know. of our shit. Very. You know what I mean? Well, always. Nigga. Always. Yeah, she, yeah. You know, she just walks Keep out on me. Yeah. Yeah. I do. I do. And That's my four right hand man. Cash, no motherfucking sense. Excuse the dap, lady. Cash, right. no motherfucking. I'm going to come back to that, man. Cool. You no know what sense. Y'all no like sense, it. You know what I mean? It works. But yeah, man, we see WTFB Radio. That's Choose What the Future Brings. Black culture through music, man. We Black. in the garage media center, man. Shout uh -huh. out to the Sound Lab. Everybody in the building. Shout out to my man 211. That's Big Shug. Shout out to Nicole De Silva. Shout out three, my man Mello in here. Shout out my man Jack Con. Jack in my here. Nigga Con. Con in the building. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Devo. <laughs> oh, and we actually going to be at the, uh, at the Middle East tomorrow, the Sonya Room. Um, this gonna, gonna be on, on. It don't matter. But don't yeah, give I fuck. It. You know what I'm saying? We gonna do that. Um, uh, my man J Rose in the building. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we got mad love in the building. A, you yeah, know, C4. Yeah. There's so much talent. You know what I mean? What creators create? Like my man Cash, like to say, man, the it's sound lab. Shit. If you need a studio, man, run up in here. We got two different rooms: the altitude room and the what's the other one? Elevation. Niggas like getting high. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Altitude and elevation, my, my nigga. So. How y'all feeling, man? Feel good. Feeling good, baby. This episode what? 164? 164. 164, man. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, we uh, Merch dropping. Bit. Oh, it's, take a look. Oh, y'all okay. like that shit? Yeah. Okay. I like it. Copy one. Made I'm by. Like if you see me in person, it might be cheaper, because online, that's your price. You know what I mean? But <laughs> see me live and direct, you know, you know. Yeah, you know I mean, supplied by A and Embroidery, right? Oh, what is it? A and N Embroidery. A and N. A and N. A N N A N A nigga, a nigga, y'all fucking me up. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Just man. Keep it moving. Don't do that. Man. Don't do that. Don't do That's that. my nigga Noble though. Who yeah, held me shout down. out my man Noble. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Um, yo, so I want to get straight into the ratings this week oh, yeah. because we got a special guest in the building. I want to talk to him, man. So let's get straight into it, man. So this week, you know, like every other week, we got two albums that we want to rate. Um, this first one, honestly, is gonna be something that. You know, I don't think we ever rated a producer's album before, have we? No. Like a straight producer? Um, nah. Have we? We never rated Hum Beats and shit, right? Nah, I think we, we weren't doing ratings yet. When, oh, okay. When Hum okay, was, okay. When, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. When Hum dropped. But um, but this one, this first one, is by Mel Go Hard, man. It's called After the Storm. Now, I've never heard of her as a producer before, but really? I actually did like this project. It's a seven track project. It's about 21 minutes long. What did y'all think? Do we go? Anybody? Y'all, y'all looking uh, you know, at me I'll again go. first? I'll go. I'll okay, go. I'll go. go. I was surprised because I've never heard like a like a like a produced R&B track like right. that. Like a whole album by a, like R&B joints. By Wakanda Warrior. Right. Wakanda yeah, what would you say about her, man? When I sent you the album, I mean, bro, she, you know, she, she was part of the Wakanda tribe. She was killing shit. <laughs> you know what I mean, and like on dogs, like this shit was surprising for me because, like, no, tell the niggas what you said. What did I? I don't remember niggas exactly. Said, I talk shit all the time, man. Said, Yo, <laughs> she, she got the bald head. Her name is Mel Go Hard. She said, looking like she's straight out of Wakanda. I told you she's a Wakanda warrior, nigga. All the warriors are bald women and they smoking shit. What that you shit mean? had me crying, nigga. Don't nigga, that me. shit was impressive because I was shocked because yeah. I wasn't expecting that. And like, she did her thing with them records. She produced the shit out those records. Yeah. And the nigga she chose to be on them, that shit was dope too because yeah. she got an ear for it. So she already know who she want to hear on the shit. Yeah. Like, I I was, I loved them records, honestly. I liked uh, Running Back was my shit. Running Back was my favorite record. Who and with, that? Who's that one by? Sing. Uh, sing. Yeah. And I never heard of no nigga named Sing, right? Where you from? <laughs> a nigga named Sing. Honestly, I was surprised that that was a nigga and, name. Uh, nigga Sing? He ain't Asian? Like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no, you starting early. Sing ain't lie. <laughs> five minutes? Shit. Warm up a little more. Oh, girl. <laughs> Nelly, what's up? What'd you think? I loved it. I loved every part of it. I think it was wise for her to um to start off with like one of the top R&B artists in the region, Amandi Music. Like, oh, y'all know yeah. how I feel about it. Throw it up, man. Always. I think it was wise that she started with him and set the tone for her for her project. Um, she's a true musician to me. Yeah. Like she used mm. like real instruments, you know. I heard the the drums, the pianos, the I think I even heard a flute somewhere in there. Live band shit. Was yeah. It, was it a recorder? I don't fucking know. <laughs> do, people, do people use recorders in real music, nigga? That's like the first shit that everybody learns how to which use. Which joint right? is the recorder? Which joint is That's that? the first shit that everybody learns how to use in music class. The little, the little shit with two, three holes on it. Nah, went Mary had went, a little lens. Nah, I went straight to the violin gang. <laughs> really? Wow, this yeah. nigga different. You know how to play the violin? Hell no. no right. <laughs> <laughs> but we talk about music class, nigga. Who did you go to? It was Ringe. in Cambridge. Oh, okay. I went to Ringe. Yeah. 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 Out in Cambridge, bro. Education, man. Yeah, whatever. Nigga. Come on, man. We got to anyway. mess up this. No, bro. but it, it was real, like, feel good, heartbreak, happy breakup makeup music like this is my type of music i love right. the vibe i knew I, you was gonna like this yeah i loved it a lot like this was this was super dope and i think that her productions like really went well with the musicians i right. think they complemented each other very well so it was enjoyable to hear um i liked it i did like it i liked the features on there um yeah she she DJ Khaled the shit out this album, but she actually produced everything. That's the difference. A lot of people, you know, they curate albums, they 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 hand select all this <laughs> and things like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, That's fine. What you mean? I mean, I get it though. Khaled don't produce everything. He he he, he could gonna, push he, a key, bro. He, you don't know his fast. He, he, he might probably <laughs> walk in the room. God's gift. You know I mean? Another <laughs> one, right? You know, he might you turn know, up some levels know. or some shit. But you like, she actually constructed all the beats from the ground up. Um, like, like y'all said, um, her features, um, I thought was very impressive, man. Um, I, if I had to pick a favorite record, I would have to say Troubled Waters. Of course. Come like, on, man. I ain't going front, man. I can't um, even believe you didn't, like, how? How could you? I like that Mighty Mouse record, too. Yeah, I like yeah, that one, yeah. but if we're talking about, yeah. like, the, the one, like, the, the the record. The one. Is, is Troubled Waters with a Mighty Mouse. No it's question. Not, it's not, it's just not a fact. Um, a, y'all niggas say time. it like that shit came it's, out of a, it's a Snapple cover, of, nigga. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's a fact Number of like, one of, yeah, fuck out of here, nigga. That's y'all, y'all I think. think there's a reason why she started it with that, right? It, it was an attention grabber. Absolutely. You know what I mean? We'll so, ask her, nigga. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll find and out. And it complimented, like, you know, after the storm, Troubled Water. She had a, a few other, like, raindrops and stuff in there. Yeah. I thought it was, it was pretty cool. This gave me soundtrack vibes. Like, yeah, I can yeah. hear one of these songs on a movie, like, Think Like a Man, right? Like, y'all don't get that? I don't think I've ever seen no. that movie. You never, never seen, seen Think, Think like, like a, a man? man? I'm sorry. Come on. Okay. What the fuck? I apologize. I didn't know that was like a oh, fucking yeah, black is. man rubric. It's nigga. like <laughs> a <laughs> black <laughs> person. The fuck, It's nigga. like a black person, like, movie. Like, all the actors are He's in into Menace to Society, you know, Jews. <laughs> and, uh, <other> <laughs> Wow. Nah, he like he like he like the British there Empire wasn't no and death. all that Saxonary <laughs> shit. I like history, man. Think like a man had nothing to do with history. Well, anyway, anyway, I get what um, you mean. But what I'm saying is, uh, <laughs> this was a great album, and I think I'm I might could be related to her, like her last name, like no bullshit. We was talking about this shit, nigga. I was like, yo, nigga, what's your last name? I think we was owned by the same people. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> no, no, no. But nah, her last name, no bullshit, is like my grandma's last name. Like really? we, st- we started talking about it. I, I don't know. We might could be. You know, Haitians, niggas, it's it's, it's ball. Well, she's Haitian. Niggas do yeah. one twenty three yeah, yeah. and me, nigga. Yeah, and that's yeah. it. Nigga. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> might have to get a blood sample or some shit. I don't Jesus. know, man. But either way, man. Um, out of five red cups, we gave Mel go hard after the storm. A solid 4.1 out of 5 red cups, man. Shout out to Mel Gohard. Yes. <laughs> her name her name is fire, though. Like, 
like Mel Gaw. Yeah. That's a great producer name. You know what I mean? Mel Gaw. You know and then she really she, got the baldy like that? She, like, she got a cut. You know, she's she a black woman. You know black women switch it up. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, I, love, I love the baldies. Yeah. Huh? Like the Wakanda Warriors, they sexy, yo, dog. Like, you, can't, <laughs> you can't front. They was fine. Wakanda like, forever. <laughs> they was fine. Hold it down. The man. fire dies in one room. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Mel Go Hard, man. Keep doing your thing. Keep creating. Um, next project we're going to talk about is somebody that we had on the show before. Somebody that we actually really love as far as, like, you know, creating music. He's dropped some, rock right now. He's dropped some shit. Right now. But a lot of the shit that... Yo, down. my nigga, shut up. But nigga, I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> yo, he's dropped some shit, like, you know what I mean, since the last time we rated one of his projects, but they were all under 15 minutes. Yeah. So we didn't rate them, but... This one right here is by my man Cave. Yeah. It's called Cave, man. Trap, Take Risks, and Prosper, which I like that, man. This is a nine track project. It's about 20 minutes long. What did y'all think? Sturdy music. I know you got sturdy. Nigga, Glock, I know you got sturdy. I mean, yo, for one, Glock Walk. Was my shit for ever since he dropped. That's the like, Negro spiritual. Like that that <laughs> record, that record. Like I told him as soon as it dropped, I was like, "This is the record of the year." Yeah, mm-hmm. I was like, "This is an anthem." The shit is it got bounce, and like Cave sounds like he's really into his art bag. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you know what I mean. So like he wants to create all the way. He wants yeah. full hands creative on control. create. Yeah, yeah, that shit creative control, nigga. Yeah. Like you. Yeah. You know what I mean, he's obsessive <laughs> probably with it. Yeah, you know I mean, like you. Yeah, you know I mean, but either way, yeah, you know I mean, like that shit. You could hear it in the music, mm-hmm. and um, I, I liked it. The only thing I didn't like was all the samples. You know, we talked about it recently. Like all the samples mm-hmm. that sound just like the song, the lazy sample. Yeah, the lazy sample. It's yeah. like dog, like different drum line. You just different. Yeah, it's just different drums, um, different bass. But yeah. the same melody as the, the original record. Yeah, yeah, that's the only thing. I man. thought the samples was kind of cool. My energy was low before listening to, to this project. And by like the third song, I was up. Like I was ready to get sturdy. I was ready to dance. My energy was high. He made me a believer. I didn't think that I would like his music because really? I, I really didn't. I didn't. I've He's seen some of his performances online and like he his energy is high. It's a yeah, lot. It's yeah. a lot. It's a lot to take in, but just listening to it, it can almost, it can put you in a trance. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, he's he's having fun. I, I believe he he went in the studio and all of this shit was one take. It sounded like he just went in one take, like, that's it. Let's keep it moving. Like, it is what it is. You think so? I really do, because I just got confidence, fun, I'm here, that's it, mm-hmm. and I'm out. That's the energy that I got, and I love that about it. Okay. If it's a fact. Um, I think that Cave actually put a lot into this. I think, you think so. I think he um I think he uh <laughs> like just looking at the album cover, right? Um, the album cover is nice. Like the, the, the shit's hard. Like, and he like, did it himself. But it yeah. was like there was repetitive lyrics. There was a, a theme. Lot. There was a theme where yeah. it's like Co- cohesiveness trying to figure it out, right? Like That's that, cool. that was that was the theme I got from this. It's like Figuring out life and and you know, bad versus evil type shit. Like, right. You know what I'm saying, I mean, good versus evil type shit. Uh, and you know, could he have probably accentuated it a little bit better? Probably. That's you know what, what I'm saying. saying. Um, That's the part that I'm talking about. You know, but I think it showed that he has a very consistent style and how he does music. You know what I mean? And because Cave, not only does he rap, he also produces. He produces oh, for wow. a lot of other people. And he also creates, you know, cover art and things of that nature. He's in the fashion a lot. Sure he so he created that. Directors. Yeah, yeah. He did that himself, I believe. I okay. believe, I believe. Don't quote me on that. He might could have done that by himself. But That's dope. Um, what was your favorite record? Glockwalk, nigga. Well, show some class. Like, like, I, yeah, show some I'm, gonna, show I'm some so class. glad he put it on show there, nigga. I, we I got an like ear. This class. nigga need to clean his I ears. Did. I'm sorry. Glock show walk. some class. Glockwalk is the club record. You know what I mean? The record. Show, show some class. Show some class. Show some class. Show some yeah. oh, I like oh, priorities. I, I, I like thought priorities. You was telling me, I thought you was telling me to show some <laughs> class. I, 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 you know how. I'll you know, get you know, I'm being nice today. Oh, you know? I'm renewed. But 
I, I, I like priorities with Body Rock. I like that one too. Like, I like their energy. I really want to just... rap, but I really got a track. Yeah. I really want to rap, yeah. but I really got a track. Like, that was like facts. You know what I mean? For any nigga who rap, nigga. You know what I mean? It's like, yo, I really want to rap, nigga. But... And they have corresponding hey, now, energy. I got like, these just, bills, really, my really, nigga. Really you know what I'm nigga saying? Nigga calling my phone. Jimbo calling me. That 10 <laughs> on the 1 is, is doing what it need Boy, to do no. right now. You know what I mean? But, you know, um, I thought it was a, it was a well put together project, man. I thought, yeah. um, you know, it showed people, you know, who Cave is. I think Cave nah, is. He's, he's the creator, bro. Yeah. I feel like when the niggas around him are getting into art, I feel like he was already into art. Oh yeah, like he was big on like designing his own clothes. Yeah. and you look at a nigga like Cave, you could tell he was always been unapologetically himself. Yeah, I've known the nigga since I was a kid. I mean, he was always himself. Like very, you know, we all Cave an interview. Yeah. <laughs> he was yeah. our drunkest interview of all time. Oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah our drunkest. Down. Yeah, yeah. That we shit. asked the nigga the same question six times. Yeah, that shit was cut down to thirty two minutes. Yeah, we was. <laughs> Oh, that was that interview. Yeah. yeah shout, shout out, out to Cave. <laughs> that explains it all. <laughs> Might not make it, nigga. Or dogs. Yeah, we didn't yeah. make that shit. Nah, man. But um, y'all want to talk about what we gave it? Yeah, come on, man. So, out of five red cups, my man Cave would take risks and prosper. That's trap, trap. for you illiterate motherfuckers. Bitch. We gave this a solid 4.3 <laughs> out of five red cups, man. KV, man. Shout out my man, Cave, dog. Keep doing your thing. Keep creating. You know, he's part of the Feed the Family family. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So we probably going to see him tomorrow Shout night to at, at the family. Middle East. Shout out Feed the Family. Shout out everybody over there. Shout out Body Rock. You know how it is, man. It's you. But let's bring in our guests, Right now. Man. Let's go. Right now, um, we, got, we got somebody in the building who's like... Literally Boston royalty. On dead dogs. Um, you know, he's been doing his thing for a minute now. Um, he's out of Atlanta, Georgia via Boston, Massachusetts. You know what I'm saying? Born and raised here. Um, he moved around a little bit. He found his home. He found his niche. He found his sound. He found his tribe. He found his people. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, when I talk about this guy amongst certain people, I mean, it's like, Cult like following, yeah. People really flock to this man. Don't say nothing um, bad, nigga. you know what I mean. Um, he, he he's linked up <laughs> with one of the uh hottest producers in the game right now. Hey, yo, Pierre, you want to come, come on here? <laughs> uh, that was really cold, so <laughs> without further ado, I need anybody and everybody to give yeah. your undivided attention for my man Chavo. What's good, baby? <laughs> For real. Hell yeah! For real. Thank you. Appreciate What's the word, you, my boy. Not much, man. Just cool with it. Glad to be home. Yeah, Glad man. To be home. Glad, Glad to be to here. here. Look at heavy, nigga. Julie, heavy to your body weight. <laughs> <laughs> I try, I try, I try, I try, man. Uh, nah, nigga, sure. look good, man. Sure. Chilling, man. Working on this music. I got um another tape dropping in like a month. Okay. I'm dropping another single in like three weeks. Okay. Working. Oh, so you working. Yeah, you, man. You got Wasabi out right now, yeah, right? Yeah, I just dropped that. Um, we had shot that video while I was on tour with Pierre. Okay. I was opening up for him um, while we stopped in Detroit. I got up a GT. We shot his scenes. Okay. And when we was in Maryland, I got up an ASAP Ant. And we shot his scenes to the video and put it oh. together. Okay. Um, that song's not on the tape. It's just something I wanted to throw out there. You okay. Because I haven't dropped no music with P since like a year and a half. It's been a while. So, really? Yeah, so... What was the last one? Chavo's World what? Two. 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 Yeah, okay. and that was like a year and a half ago. Yeah. I think okay. 2021, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but you got songs in pandemic shit. Nah, for sure. Yeah, I got I'm songs. sure. You yeah, got mad songs. Yeah, for okay, sure. For okay. Sure. For the people who don't know who you are, man, you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure everybody who watches this shit knows who you are, but just give us a quick rundown who you are, what you do, what you represent. Uh, for sure. My name's Chavo. You know what I'm saying? I represent hip hop and music. Um, I've been rapping since I was like seven. I'm signed to Sauce House uh, with Pierre Boone. Um, you can check my music out on all the platforms, Travels World 1 and 2, 3's on the way. I also yeah. got Mixed Emotions out, Hood Level 1 and 2. Uh -huh. And um, I just dropped Blue Hills, a mixtape called Blue Hills a couple yeah, months ago. Yeah, like so that. I got a few tapes That was in November, there. right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. This producer, um, a young kid, man, he's like... It's like 16. He had paid me like 20 racks really? wow. to hop on his joint. He had to hop on his songs. We did like 10 songs. Um, wow. Hell yeah. What's fuck. his name? White kid? Black kid. Oh. He's from North Carolina. It's crazy. It was his own money. Like, you feel yeah, what I'm saying? Come he, on, yeah, he, he, His he, old buddy. He's 16. I get it. I get it. I get it. Yeah, his old buddy. I, I don't know what he's doing. IRS. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for sure. 
Hope the IRS ain't watching. Accusation. <laughs> False. Yeah, word, word. It's all fiction. It's fiction. It's fiction. It's the stuff oh. I made up. But nah, but hell yeah. So we, we, we was working on music and um, we dropped that. Um, shit was hard. You feel what I'm saying? And he's dope. He's a dope kid. He's a dope, talented kid. That's fire. I, that's fire, man. Um, you know, there's there's a lot I want to talk to you about, man, because you know, saying the title Boston royalty, right? We we don't take it lightly because nah. um, there's a lot of shit that transpired throughout the city when it comes to hip hop. Um, and 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 you're the son of Ray Benzino, man. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, sure. um, Ray Shout Dog. I mean, Shout Ray Dog, man. Ray Dog. Yeah. Ray Dog. You you was Ray Ray before you was Chavo, right? Nah, hell yeah, I was Ray Ray, and, yeah. and after that I was Cool Breeze Ray. Okay, yeah, yeah. Cool I remember Ray Ray. I yeah, remember yeah, yeah. Ray Ray. Cause you was you was a kid, kid. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. For sure. You know what sure. I mean? Like you see pictures with Zeno, yeah, and, and yeah, you was right, right there. Yeah, you know what I mean? Kept me around. That's why I think I love hip hop so much. You know what I mean? Love music so much because he always had me around it and in it. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. I was by his hip, so. That's fire, man. I mean, what, what was that like growing up in in, in the industry? It was dope. It was dope. There's a lot of cool stories and you know a lot of dope things that done happened. Yeah. And like what? Dope. Nigga got groupies like, early. What's, <laughs> what's, the, what's the craziest story that you? Like I'm gonna be a rapper. What are you gonna be nah, when you I grow mean, up a rapper? <laughs> like, nigga, dope. nigga, jump. Dope stuff Five that mics, that bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, when I was like 15, I, I, I was on. Um, Introduced to Diddy's son through my man Luck, which is Mario Wine's son. Oh, uh, he kind of got okay. cool. Yeah. He introduced me to it. We went to a Sweet 16. He invited me out there. Justin? Mm -hmm. Justin. Oh, Justin. Justin. Oh, um, there was a few times I went and like spent the night at Diddy's crib. You okay. know what wow. I mean? Just kicking it with Justin. So shit like that. You know yeah. what I mean? A kid from Boston doing shit like crib that. Crib so that big. You know Diddy I mean? didn't even know, nigga. And yeah, for a fact. For a fact. <laughs> Diddy's like, whose kid is this? <laughs> <laughs> like, what you mean? Diddy on the son. other side of the state. That's the same house. That nigga looking at Kim like, Kim, this is my son? <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure, sure. R.I.P. Kim yeah. Porter. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? oh, yeah. All things in order. Oh, uh, but, <laughs> wow. But that's that's fire, man. Because you know, growing up in the industry, I feel like can do one of two things, right? Yeah. It can either open you up to one to be a part of it, or it can just mm. literally you away from it. Just yeah. Be like, nah, nah for sure, I'm for straight. Sure. That's a fact. That's so a that fact. so that means you had pleasant memories. Nah, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Okay. yeah. Seeing him doing it and the things that he got from it just made me want to do it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It made me want to tap into it and seeing the things he did for my grandmother, his mom. Right. Just stuff I want to do for my mom one day. You feel what right, I'm saying? Right, so right. Stuff like that, I just hold to heart. I always on. think about, oh, go ahead, you guys know? I was going to ask, is there any negative influence that has had on you? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Any, Definitely been negative stuff. Been negative stuff. Anything in particular? <laughs> you know, I is mean, like the people, women. Is it is it party and drugs? Assuming, what? Like a, assuming my lifestyle, assuming me, thinking right. just because mm -hmm. I'm this person's son. You know what I mean? This might be the way I am or the way I, I live. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, and yeah. it wasn't like that. You know what I'm saying? Try to play you close. Not not even play me close, but like just try to like they know me or figure they me out. You was a fort, spoiled brat type shit. Yeah, 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 yeah for, sure, for sure, for sure. I'm sure you had the wildest birthday parties though, my nigga. Maybe when when I was younger. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying. Yep, yep, yep. I had the go karts and shit. You know what I'm saying. Had the all ponies, the, go the horses. You know what I'm saying. Oh, really? I'm just, yeah, for sure. Like you're not sure. even exaggerating. This is when I was a kid. Oh, this though. dead ass. This nigga yeah. had a horse. Yeah. So you were spoiled. That's the nigga yeah, on the horse. Spoiled. spoiled. It's all right to be spoiled. Yo. Nah, my I my kids. You, kids. you got kids? I don't got kids yet, but I'm gonna be hopefully. Be you gonna spoil your happen. kids, nigga? Yeah. All right then. How many <laughs> niggas in here had a party with ponies and horses? That's what I'm saying. This nigga my little different though. One nigga feel how you say, yeah. Nigga acting like it's regular. It's like, yeah, nigga. I Parents probably work at the ranch, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> look, man. Look, man. I think it's a beautiful thing. It is. I just wish that he was rapping and the Source Awards was still happening. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yo, dad, you know hard. I be win hard. Hard. this year. I'll be off next That's year. Fact. Five, I five mics I'm time. gonna announce right. oh, nah. all the and I'm gonna win. Like yeah. I'm gonna open the envelope. Act surprised that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 like I, I might feel, pull a little Baba Bo and hop on the stage with yeah. some performance. I feel like every performance is your performance. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. I mean, like if you don't have Chavo features, like this ain't your show. This is the Source Awards 
Chavo <laughs> featuring y'all niggas. Chavo's World Awards. Word, word, Chavo's word, World word, Awards. Word. I feel like that shit would have been dope, man. Like, fact, fact. Magazine, anybody? Let me edit that, man. <laughs> you putting up good words. <laughs> yeah, Nelly, what you got? I know you patiently waiting. Uh, nah, I'm letting y'all shoot the shade. You want to talk about the, the Billboard Top 50? Yeah, I mean, Top bef- 50 was crazy. You know the top fifty. I want to jump right into the topic. You, you know the, the top fifty shit is is um, it's subjective, but it's also it's an, it's interesting to see it drop from from Billboard. Like you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like yeah, yeah. they 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 stressing the whole fifty years of hip hop shit. And if you really a hip hop head, you know you you talk about you know guys who've been around the industry for years and shit like that. They'll tell you that rap is older than fifty years old, right? But like it's been recognized for, yeah, yeah. for fifty years for at sure. this point, right? For sure. Um, yeah. I mean, how, how did y'all feel about the list, man? Because I, I had some questions. It's tough to gauge it because it's like when hip hop started, there wasn't streaming, there wasn't a lot of shit, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. And like it developed, like niggas grew from other rappers, like. Niggas heard Rock Kim and was like, whoa, what the fuck? Gotta change it up. Right. Niggas heard Nas, oh, what the fuck? Gotta change it up. So it's like, who which who you picking out? Who you That's a big list. Yeah, it's like it's who you like picking as like you're talking about fun. the history of hip hop? You say fifty years of hip hop. Yeah, I, I think they probably basing it like off maybe sales and success. I think that's probably right. the list looking. You know right. what I mean? How the list was looking. And and that's what I was gonna ask you. Like what do you think they gauged it off of? Because sales and success. It, it has to be, bro. That's what I was like. Let me you know, go back sales, to this list. You think so? Yeah, so so let's just I mean, talk uh, about top ten, right? Yeah, let's do ten. Right, let, let's let's start with, with number ten, right? Yeah. Because the, the the reason why like fifties a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? But if if you talk about sales and success and you talk about female rappers, you can't not talk about Nicki Minaj, right? right. Oh, she's so number 10. She's number yeah. 10, right? Okay, that and makes sense. Nine is Snoop Dogg, right? Eight is Drake. Seven is Lil Wayne. Six is Biggie, Notorious B.I.G. Five is Eminem, shout out that white boy. <laughs> Tupac is number four. Nas is number three. Kendrick Lamar, number two. And Jay-Z, number one. Yeah. Now I get it when you say, it. Oh, you know what I mean, sales and success. I think that's kind of it. You maybe go, not that order, but right. it's definitely there in there. Nigga, right. you go to any state, you go to a radio station, you're going to hear one of them 10 niggas. Sure. Yeah. You are. On any given you day. Are. Yeah, on any, kind of crazy. <laughs> sure. in any yeah. state. For sure. Yeah. In part of this world or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You're going to hear one of these niggas. In India, right. nigga. Yeah. It don't matter. Oh, India. That's yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. the reason why they top yeah. 10. I get that now. Saying it out loud. I'm kind of surprised Kendrick came in at number two, though. Um, I think they tried to, and that, and that's so back to the sales and success. How many Grammys did he just win? Did he win just like two Grammys? He might could have won. He what won. He won album of the year. Um, this past year, um, at well, rap album of the year. Um, he's got a lot of Grammys for. A I think he do got a couple of Grammys, he's got but a lot. you know, okay, so that his might sales be haven't been. The best, Obviously, right? That's what Drake I'm outsold him crazy. Nicki right. outsold him crazy. Mad niggas on that list outsold Kendrick, yeah. but you know, I think they tried to add that layer of lyricism and success mixture, for sure, for sure. which is kind of tough because it's like, how do you put Kendrick before not? And also, right. following. they the, probably do following. He's the him. young I'm niggas, not he's the you know young I mean? niggas, Nas, bro. That's who Kendrick is. He's the young niggas to them. That's I'm surprised Nas. Cole wasn't in the top ten. Right, Cole is right. He's so, number thirteen. I was gonna put Kendrick in. I'm surprised mm-hmm. Cole wasn't in the top. So 10. I think Cole mm-hmm. is the young Nas, in my opinion. I think Kendrick is Kendrick. I don't think that he rapped like anybody before him. To be honest, like I, I think, don't, I don't think like I think Kendrick is his own entity, bro. Like the sure. nigga's incredible for sure. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, musician. I, I, I don't. I don't. Yeah, I, I've never over, listened to Kendrick and said I hear a lot of heavy influence from said rap. Or from someone else. Over, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, over sure. anybody 31, 32 years old, Nas is in their top five, bro. Yeah. Anybody oh, yeah. who love hip hop in their thirties, they Nas is in their top five. And he's five. probably number one. Yeah. It, on on that dog. On, on, on that dog. For real. Honestly. On so it's so it's like you talk about under thirty. Kendrick is they that's they nigga like twenty six them younger niggas that's they nigga bro. This is true. Like that's it. I get it. Like they won't throw it up for Jay, but they will throw it up for Kendrick. All right. They'll they'll nod that. they'll nod to Jay 
Because everybody got to give it to Jay because everybody want to be smart. He's a billionaire. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, exactly. Don't know why we're like, everybody want to make it to that brunch. Nobody wants to say, y'all, I don't understand what Jay is saying. Brunch. Like, nobody <laughs> ever wants to say that out loud. <laughs> Niggas be like, what? He's like, yeah, yeah, you yeah I caught that ball. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. bought the FBI in yeah. the 70s. Yeah, yeah. I, I yeah, understood I all that. that line. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't nobody want to miss, miss Jay Barnes. Yeah. Yo, so, so <laughs> since we on Jay-Z, would you take five hundred thousand or dinner with Jay Z? Honestly, <laughs> yeah. you're thinking about it. Why? I, I'll tell, I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. I take the bread because if, nah, if I had the dinner with him, if I had the dinner with him, I honestly think he'd be like, "You're a fool for not taking the bread." <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Because the younger him would have took the bread. He's oh yeah, like, I don't think he would have mm, Like if you would have asked him, would you take the bread or sit down with Rakim? Yeah, he would took that five hundred G's. Yeah, I, I seen a saying? video meme. It was like a nigga. Yeah, you know I mean, doing some shit, and it was like a nigga that you know. Chose dinner with Jay Z. And the nigga yeah, I saw was, that. The nigga was talking, talking like crazy. he was like, you know, I mean, they asked you if uh, um <laughs> if, if you want to take uh you know dinner with me or the five hundred thousand. He said, my advice to you is next time take the money. <laughs> like, <laughs> like you know what I mean? Like I, my thing is, you know, I, I hate that question because it's like I understand, right? Your net worth is your net worth and all of that, right? But your net worth immediately becomes 500,000 plus once you get that money. No, for sure. Like, you, 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 you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I think the offer should be more than 500 because the dinner with Hove is pretty, you feel me? So it's, it should be like- prestigious. It should be like 5 million or- I don't know. Jeez. You feel me? Or, that's Hove. You ain't just- I, I think gonna be eating alone for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> The hell is taking dinner <laughs> like, over five million? Like, what he eating? Like, tell me what he eating right now, nigga. I'm gonna order three thousand of them shits. <laughs> what is she talking about? <laughs> what is oh, on, nigga? So, how do y'all feel about the whole controversy between Lil Wayne saying he's the goat, like over Jay Z? I think it depends on the generation that Jay. I'm about to say, I think he's a go to. A different I feel generation. like there's certain niggas who would say Wayne is that nigga as well. No, Wayne's there that are nigga to me. the younger generation. Wayne's there that, are. Wayne's, he's a go to. He's, he's in my top Wayne's five. That nigga. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Wayne's but is he over Jay Z? Nah. Nigga. You know, just okay. like you got Mike, Michael, Kobe, LeBron, you got Biggie, Jay Z, Wayne. Right? I, I feel. Do you feel like Wayne is LeBron? Do you feel like Wayne scored more points? Do you feel like do you feel like uh, Hove is the uh, Kareem? Hove is Mike and, and no? Do you feel like Hove is the Kareem? If we're talking about like points, as far as you feel like Hove is the Kareem and then y'all know I ain't. And in the then sports, I like this. All right, this question. Hove the Kareem. <laughs> Hove would have to be Mike. Hove would have to be. All right, Mike. so but uh, if, if these are the three ball players: Wilt Chamberlain, Kareem, and LeBron. Who are the three rappers? Oh, Wilt Chamberlain, Kareem, and, and LeBron. LeBron. Who are the three rappers that are compared? Those are to huge them? gaps. Um. Cause I mean, there's huge damn. gaps between Hov and, and and Wayne. Wayne, no, not really. I mean, I Wayne read, was a kid when, but he was, when he started popping. Okay, you talking about like Carter to the days, masses? Right? Yeah, like okay. all those mixtapes he was dropping, uh, the Trout and all. You know what I mean? I mean, that's tough, bro. I mean, you said Will, Kareem, and Mike. I'm surprised you got Mike. You want to be? You want to be Mike? You can be Mike. LeBron. He said you can be LeBron because LeBron is. So Cause I'm talking like as far as niggas. scoring, you feel me? That's what niggas is doing in this industry. Put so, points up. So will will we'll, All right. So here's the here's the argument, right? And you a sports nigga. You, you I mean you 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 attest to this. Will's the only nigga with the hundred point game, right? But Will was Who, playing in a league that was different. He was also tall as fucking gravity. Like as, Every as you say, with streams, rebound, league now yeah, nigga. Different league. Every so, so offensive rebound so, was going to Will Chamberlain, my so nigga. Jay couldn't be playing in the new age. Jay was playing. That's why I would say Jay would be like a Kareem. Jay would be Kareem. Yeah, Jay so who would be before him? Rakim would be Will, because he originated all of these niggas' styles. If we if we talking, we talking about, but we talking I mean? about origin, su success and sales still. Yeah, I was. I would. I would, I would say Pac or Biggie. I would honestly Pac. I would honestly for me. I would say Pac. Just that's just my opinion. So you like Pac over Biggie? Yeah. When it comes to sales, so yeah. sales if and success about, wise, we talking about. He had a longer run than Big. Big. Big only he had, had a longer run. He did act. I hear Dear Mama every day, every shit. time I turn on the radio. So yeah, I guess that would. I guess that I really do. And Pac is sexy. Come on now, you gotta have a look. Was I agree? I agree. That would, oh yeah, I, well, well, I'm being sexy, sorry. but I agree about yeah. the, the Wilt <laughs> shit. <laughs> um, about the Wilt shit. That 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 makes sense. So it would be Pac. Who would be Jay? Okay, and then Wayne. And then, Jay, Wayne. Be my and then Wayne. I like that. 
because way numbers wise, he killed shit. Not for sure. Yeah. When you talking about streaming, first week, yeah. he was the number one Napster downloaded week. nigga. There was no nigga downloaded more on LimeWire than Lil Wayne. Not for sure. I'm a sure. million physical copies first week. A million people Bear went share. out and bought CDs. That's a fact. But Jay Z is the goat. Like Jay Z is the greatest of all time. Period. Like I don't think there's any question between that. His catalog is better. Yeah, not for he sure. has more I get money. What you mean. Yeah. It's, it's hard. He got it's Beyonce. Hard. So it's like, come on now. I Fuck get... Beyonce. Oh. I mean, that's a plus. Hey, yo, edit, that's a edit plus. That out. Yo, edit nah. that out. I mean, the reason yeah. why I say yo, that, yo, you see these right here. You want to keep getting these? Edit that out. You want to keep the beehive is about to swarm you. Don't say it. Don't say it like that. I don't rephrase it. Like you want to fuck Beyonce, right? Well, right. That's what you said. Like that's okay. Nah, niggas say that all the time. Say no, right? Yeah, like that's okay. They say all the time. What I'm saying is, we shouldn't count Beyonce as one of his accomplishments. Why not? Why not? Because he's also Jay Z. He he cheated on her. That is he cheated on her publicly, and she's still there. You know what I'm saying? So like, meaning that's I mean, none of that's none of your oh, fucking yeah. business. You that's wild, nobody's like business. So that's their marriage. Hey, that's so not your business. It may don't get that's when not he your business. Do, so bro, what I'm do saying, my job. What I'm no. What right. I'm saying is for every, no, fuck you know, like HR. You talk about relationship shit. It could have been any woman. Like it, it is what it is. Because you have to remember, for you to be Jay Z. Whatever woman you with has to be dynamic. And before man. Beyonce, he had the Dawson chick, right? It was Rosario Dawson? I don't know who the fuck. He made a whole he album was. about it, he got, bro. He got married. I to think Beyonce. Lost Ones was about Rosario Dawson. I think he won a Grammy for that been. album. Oh, four, 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 that. four was that shit. Yo, look. But your on. woman does add value. I'm that, not that's, saying she does not. But you said fuck but, her. But so what you I'm saying is, I'm saying, I'm saying, negating the fact from who his life partner is, everything else is still great. Right? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, we're not going to take nothing away from his own accomplishments. He's made 750 from Duce. You know what I'm saying? Come on, bro. Like, what are we talking about? I'm just saying it has to be mentioned because when you mention Wayne, everybody talks about how he used to be with Lauren London. that's an accomplishment. You know what I'm saying? They talk about that? Yes, they do. Yes. I don't know. I ain't really all that. Really? I don't give I a have. fuck. Because that's I really nip, that's Nipsey like, now. You feel me? Right, so I really, oh, shit. I, I, nobody, yeah, I really don't right. give a fuck. Not really, but. Oh, shit. So they got kids in my. Like, yeah. yeah. Oh, Lil Lil yeah, Wayne. Sir, they got hip hop yeah. kids. Oh, y'all in competition. They got Little Wish oh. Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes, <laughs> but either way, man. Um, I, you, you know, uh, the, the, yeah, the whole conversation about, you know, generations, I think it's tough <laughs> because. Yeah. It's all subjective to like when you grew up and what you was listening to. For sure. A lot of people I know in my age bracket didn't even listen to uh, Reasonable Doubt until they was grown men, yeah. which That's is kind of crazy. crazy. That's crazy to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I was listening to Reasonable Doubt when I was a kid. Um, I heard that album then pop to like four years later, or a couple years later. Like he put it out and it didn't. It, it didn't do, do what and it was it supposed to. He dropped it a couple, right. years, a few years later. That's crazy. Right. Blew up. I think I listened to it late I'm too. I'm not Fifty lie. Cent's not in that top ten. He's yeah, me too. He's probably he's, in the fifties. Yeah. He's, he's close. 50, yeah. He's close. <laughs> he is top fifty, right? He is close though. He's number seventeen. Who 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 That's were your influences influence. though? Like growing up, like who who was rapper wise? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wade Wiz. Yeah. I listened to Nas. I listened to a lot of Pac. Mm-hmm. But really like Wade the Wiz. I listened to a lot of Wade and yeah. Wiz Khalifa. Uh, you, you got your name from from Wiz, uh, listening to Wiz Khalifa. Wiz and Jim Jones. Yeah. Hair them say Chavo and they records. Yeah. yeah. I stuck with it. I figured out it. What kind of correlation did you put to that? Um, I heard it. Someone told me it meant money, but then I heard it means homie. Okay. Yeah, 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 that was later on. I heard it, it means homie. So either way, I'm cool with it. I'm the yeah, homie. Yeah, yeah, it's the homie. It so. it Does your dad ever find it offensive that he's not one of your influences? Um, nah. I mean, he's never said nothing to me, so I, I don't think so. But he is. He's, I'm not. I'm not taking that. Like I said, I wouldn't be in this industry if it wasn't for him. But okay. as far as people that I'm listening to when I was I was growing up, I really wasn't I wasn't listening to his music like that. Right. It wasn't that good. But he's a life influence. <laughs> nah, it was good. It was good. It was good. <laughs> I was just, you know I'm what just it was? asking. I was listening to it so much, like being around him mm-hmm. in the car. Cause that's all he listens to is himself. So when I'm in the car, I get that's that vibe. All. You could tell, nigga. <laughs> I get that vibe. No he work out in the car. I swear to God, it's just only. <laughs> nigga said, "Dad, I know the words already." <laughs> God damn. <laughs> so, about your pack that dumbbell over there, like you know what I mean? <laughs> he work out the sunroof. <laughs> yeah, about Wednesday, yeah, you getting dropped off in the morning in school, niggas. Like your dad, it's Wednesday. I heard this song eight times already. Nah, you know what I mean? Play, play the next. You game. didn't have a bedtime with dad, right? Oh nah, no, nah, nah, no bedtime. Nah, nah. Yeah, shit, shit's a go. 
shit. Yeah, I got all the channels, my nigga. Yeah. Switch <laughs> switch to the B. Go get ahead. <laughs> go ahead and do your thing. Nah, for sure. <laughs> so let, let's talk more about you, man, like as an yeah. artist. Um your, your style is very laid back. I, I think you make like some real cool sounding music. You make like like some real um, you know, like everyday you know, day in the life type music. You know what I'm saying? That. Like yeah, that's that's what I'm trying to that's what I'm trying to do. So that's Michigan is my shit. I yeah, I fuck that. with Michigan, man. That, man. What that freaky bitch say? <laughs> <laughs> with the rings on though? Yeah, put the fist in it. That'd oh be wow. Crazy. Wow. Hey, Nigga, look at the rings like that. Like, bitch go steal these. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Stick it in there, bitch be like, I don't know what happened. <laughs> Bitch, give my rings back. Give my rings back. <laughs> Stupid. Oh, fuck. Stupid. That would give me a trouble. Why she over there and shit? Oh, oh, my, my, my. It's all shit. It's not trouble. even real. It's like comic books. That's what I be telling you. It's, it's, like, it's just a song. Yeah. It's just a song. Yeah. Yeah, yeah porn shit and porn's end. not real. Yeah, yeah. Porn's not real. What? <laughs> Since when? <laughs> They really be fucking. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so in Had a Feeling, yes. I love that song, thank by you, the way. You, like, the first line is, never take my kindness for weakness. Yes, man. Now, I know I've been in many situations where... Um, Someone took your kindness for weakness? Right. I might come across passive, but really, I'll fuck shit up. I'm about to say, you seem like you seem like that, so I don't know why they would nah, take your kindness for weakness. I don't know why neither. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's the, oh, oh. Can you name a time or a situation where, like, somebody got you confused and they took your kindness for weakness, or they, like, really tried you? And like I said, growing up, there was just, you know, situations where people would think I was this one i'm not that you know what i mean and it was it was times i just had to I throw just, your motherfucking hands yeah throw my hands you feel me throw other things it was just things being thrown it was just times i had to, I had to stand on you feel what i'm saying <laughs> stand on what you feel what i'm saying so just like that like you know what i mean so yeah. i don't know why anybody would think you know they would try i could see why niggas would try i could see why, why niggas anybody would, try. would think what that they could fuck with Benzino's kid, right? Because if you know, you know. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, nah, that's a stupid decision. You think so? Yeah. This, like, how many stupid I mean? niggas do you bump into every <laughs> like, day? Yeah, just there's every a lot day, of like, crash you dummies just, like, out like, here. Bump into there's a stupid a nigga. A lot like, of crash. Like, oh there's shit! <laughs> What's up, stupid? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> what neighborhood did you grow up in lot. out here? Mattapan, right? Yeah, I was in Mattapan. You grew up in Mattapan. Yeah. House in Common Square, and then I was like in fifth grade. We moved to Milton. Uh -huh. Okay. I, so I was in Milton from like fifth grade to like ninth grade, and then me and my mom was kind of like getting into it because I was getting in trouble um, mm -hmm. with the weed stuff. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Got like, I'm in Milton, time, mom. Fucking around with the weed. Right. She had found some weed in the house, and she was kind of getting tired of it. Well, you get this good <laughs> shit. <laughs> so She's thinking of I the moved crib. my pops to Miami, and oh. I finished high school out there. Okay. Weed was, was legal with yeah. pops. Word. <laughs> <laughs> steal all his roaches and shit, steal all his clips and smoke them, you would never know. But he was like, yo, where my weed, nigga? <laughs> Motherfucking child. <laughs> yo, you got was, you a, was you around your dad when he was on Love and Hip Hop? Yep, yep. <laughs> we, um, so, like, when I graduated high school um, in Miami, he had moved uh, to Atlanta. And I had he had, like, a uh, condo in Miami. That, like, it was already paid up for, like, a year. Mm -hmm. So he asked me if I wanted to stay there. If I wanted to come with him So I stayed there For like a year And that was like The first season That uh, he was shooting mm. With Stevie Where he wasn't really A character right. But he was helping right, Stevie right. Cause Stevie was like You know Using the car And using the crib And stuff like mm. that And certain stuff That he had So he was just helping him Make it look good You know what I mean So um, After that year was up I moved out there And he that's when he was On the On the season When he was actually On the cast yeah, yeah. Right Did you ever try to Integrate your music with like the Love and Hip Hop brand while your dad was nah. connected with them? Because there's a lot of big artists out of Love and Hip Hop, like Cardi nah, B. Sure. Only Cardi B. Suki I'm about to say, those Ooh. are probably the only two, Suki and Cardi, for Suki, sure. Suki, Cardi B, they got to be Suki more. Big, I, I don't Suki know. Big. Nah, I don't, Car That's it? I, I but don't Cardi's know way Cardi. bigger. It's a different, you feel me? But they both big. I don't know the other one. They got to be more. Hey, What's the other one's called? Suki Ana? Suki Ana? You mean Suki Ana? Because she, she, I feel like, 
her head game is more impressive oh than her rap. Oh my god! Oh you shit! Know How I mean? you know? Gang? Don't she be she be all over on the internet talking with about this her shit. Head? sucking dick. She be on the internet she, sucking I've dick. seen her sucking dick <laughs> on the internet, bro. And rapping. That'd be impressive. Not at the same time. <laughs> But I know. She's the one that threw up on her man's joint. And... Oh, I didn't know she rapped though, girl. That's rapping. Yeah. I didn't see that. Oh, yeah. She was sucking dick. Yeah, you know I mean, but either way. Wow. I but can't proceed, my y'all. nigga. What you say? Loving hip hop is dope, though. I mean, because it's like it's another outlet for hip hop. <laughs> Not for sure. Right. For sure. Right. For sure. But, go ahead. Because niggas know his dad. A lot of the young niggas know his dad from loving hip hop. Like nigga. Yeah. Like I will slap you. Like, do you not know the source, <laughs> nigga. Like, but but, but you, you know, like the separation. I feel like is is, you know, what I respect about you, right? Because have have you done a record with your dad as as not, an adult? Yeah, they, yeah, we got a few yeah, songs. Oh, yeah? Yeah, okay. yeah, we got a few songs. Um, the last song I think we did together is called uh, Mason Margiela, and that was probably like five or six years ago. Okay, but we got some songs together. Okay, see, see, I, I wasn't even aware. Mm-hmm. You see? We, we put it out. I think on Dat Piff. Okay. You know what I mean? Right. So, yeah. He got the most successful rap kids on dogs. For sure. For sure. After I, Master P had it for a minute. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, like, nah, 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 then nah. Hell that. nah. Oh, boy. Oh, I'm boy. saying nah. who else? Who else besides that was, P? Oh, boy, on the that internet was crying kid. about his dad now. <laughs> nah, but I'm saying back then he had it. You feel me? But that was one kid, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's so it. It's, I don't think it's the same level. But he had a lot of brothers. Yeah, but what they do? Yeah, I don't know not one of their names. It's Silk, not their kids Silk though. Your shaka was hard. Your back. kids is different. <laughs> Silk is that nigga. You know I mean, Silk Come. the shaka was the first offbeat rapper. You said Silk, Silk the was shaka that was that nigga. Silk the shaka has some shit. He's like top five worst rappers. You know that they <laughs> they're like. Nah, no bullshit. There was a list, nah, but like the worst list. rappers yeah. are top five. And he was on there. Yeah. yeah, him and the nigga that made Tipsy is on there as well. Oh, Jay Quan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what's crazy? I bought Jay like Quan's album back in the Me day. Me too. Yeah, because of Tipsy. I bought Tipsy. Y'all couldn't download <laughs> Tipsy then. Like I, I bought it. I, I was a buying ass. I was a, I was an album buying ass no, nigga, bro. Sure. You know what I mean? Sure. I used to buy all this shit. I just like to see my CD stack. I get it. Yeah, I get it. That was a thing. You know what I mean? Had my Walkman. Yeah, I had the fucking the laminated cover joint. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I had the with the hundred sleeves. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Auto shock. You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. when I fell on my bike, yeah, me was, was still, still playing. playing. <laughs> <laughs> you little niggas would never know. <laughs> niggas would have no you idea. Yeah, I know about that. that I, know what, I thought that was scared, a brand. Bro. Auto shock. I'm like, that was a nigga, brand. I'm like, uh, nigga. Still, nigga. Get rich or die try. Get ready to start some drama, nigga. Oh, that for dogs. your mama, nigga. <laughs> yeah. So let's talk about uh, how you how you link up with Pierre, man. Pierre Born. Uh, I met Pete through my uh, my man Strick. It's like my cousin. I grew up with him too. Uh, Strick was signed. To, uh, he signed to YSL now, but he wasn't signed to YSL back then. So, um, he's had an apartment, excuse me, downtown in Atlanta, and um. Pierre used to come through and record him. Mm. He was like his engineer. So like his, his, his home engineer, he would come through and record him. And he knew I rap, so he just put me on to him. Like, yo, I got mm-hmm. an engineer, you know what I'm saying? Damn. Give me a timeline. What what year is this when you meet Pierre? Um, I would say this had to be 2012, 2013. Wow, wow. this is wow. early. Or yeah. maybe 2014 or something okay. like that. But in between that, 2013, 2014. But it, it might have been 2012. Okay. We good, 2012. we good. I get it. It was, in between. It was a minute ago. <laughs> <laughs> it was a minute ago. <laughs> minute ago but um so from there i got his number and he used to pull up on me and yeah. he used to record because where i was staying at at the time i was staying in cobb county he was staying in cobb county and it was like probably five or ten minutes away where he okay. was staying so he would pull up you know what i mean mm. come record me and stay at my spot you know, i had a spot with my cousin that drop is crazy yeah. like, you hear it and like you know the beat's gonna be stupid mm. like, he's always had his own sound since since then yeah. you know what i mean like who was like the first big artist he did? What was it? Playboy? Cardi? I think yeah, right? I think it was either Cardi or Nudie. It was one of the I other. But right. I know that Magnolia was like was the song yeah. that blew up. Yeah, yeah that was Cardi. Yeah, right. I think yeah, he was, was working Cardi. with Nudie first, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Yeah, that joint with Cardi is how I remember that drop. And then the beat was just. Hey, yo, Pierre, you want to come out here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's that drop about? Do you know? You know that's the Jimmy it's from Fox. Martin. It's from Martin. No, it's from right? Jimmy Fox. It's the Jimmy, Jimmy Fox, Fox show. Uh, and that's when uh, Jimmy Fox was like talking to like the, the the chef. He was like, "Yo, Pierre, he was talking. You know what I mean? You want to come out here? <laughs> I didn't even know that. Yeah, he said, that. "Jimmy, know about it and shit. You know what I mean? It's mm. a shit dope. You know what I'm saying? Did he have to co-sign that? Yeah, hell yeah. That's super that's dope. dope. That's, that's super dope. dope. That makes it that. that makes it beautiful, right? Even harder. Yeah. Yeah. It makes it so much harder. 
So, so you joined, you know, the Sauce House team, right? Um, what do you feel like that did for you as an artist? Um, it gave me a wider audience, mm. an audience I needed, because, um, like, I, I, I needed like a, a someone to put my music to the masses, because I was recording and dropping stuff, but it really wasn't getting a lot of views, a lot of, yeah, right. a lot of traction. But once I, you know, got with P and we, we put our music, my, our music out, and um, people started fucking with it. You know what I mean? I knew people was gonna fuck with it regardless. They just needed to hear it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, you feel like you had a different style before you linked up with P? A different style? Yeah. No, nah, I've always had the same type of style. Yeah. I've always had the same type of style. Hell yeah. I feel like you fuck with Detroit a lot. You bought a house, you bought a block. Nah. You could buy a whole nah. skyscraper. It's in that crazy, house. though. I've never, <laughs> listen, I've never been to Detroit until like three, four months ago. When yo, I made that song. For the love. Been, yeah, never been to yo, they got, yo, real estate is cheap, cheap out, out there. there. I know my man live out there. He got like, he got like 15 cribs. He, he got 15, me, you hear that? He sent me a <laughs> list. Yeah. Of he was like, yo, buy, let me, if you want to buy some, buy some off me. They're from like, Maybe like nine thousand like heard, to like thirty. But I heard Get Detroit. Yeah. I heard Detroit so run down. Like yeah, yeah, for sure. niggas are just squatting your shit, yeah. and you ain't got enough bullets to get them out. So <laughs> you, <laughs> you just you know bow down and give up. So like that's the risk. But Detroit is grimy. Hell that's yeah. why the mute. It's fucked up. Like hip hop works. Like wherever the grimiest shit is happening in the states, no, like that's where the music, the fire is gonna Florida, come from. Florida, Memphis, <laughs> like, Atlanta. Yeah, like, Detroit. Yo, them niggas in the oh, real sure. trenches. Like sure. when niggas heard Chicago was killing everybody, Chicago, we was like, "Yo, the fact. music is amazing." <laughs> 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 niggas love that shit. As soon as niggas heard, shit was on fire. That's how shit go. You know oh, what I like God. about you as well, man, is that you, uh, you, you, you also like rap Boston really hard, man. Yeah, like, yeah. Hell you yeah. throw it up. You never shy away For from. Sure. Correcting niggas on, you know, uh, it's not yeah. about where I stay. People be thinking I'm, I stay from, I'm from Atlanta. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And I'm not. So I, I be want people to know that. You like an army brat, but you really a rap brat. Yeah, for sure. I'm <laughs> everywhere, right? <laughs> Florida, Miami, Atlanta, Boston. Okay, so, so speaking of Boston, like, how do you feel about the Boston music scene out here and, like, you know, the front it's runners? Dope. It's dope. It's dope. I listen to a lot of people out here. I listen to a lot of Stizzy Left Lane. Uh huh. Shout out my man Stizzy. Stizzy. Nah, for sure. Stizzy in the building. He is. We got songs together. We've been working on music for years. It's dope, the music out here. There's a lot of dope artists out here. I feel like it's it's not, it's, it's underlooked. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a time where the, the light is shined on it. You know what I mean? It's going to yeah. be a forefront, a forerunner, and I'm trying to be that person. You know what I mean? To stick the, stick the, you know what I'm saying? The what do you think it's really going to take for that? Honestly, I think it just takes a few, a few artists just to get a push and like, some bread, be bread behind them. That's all it takes, really, to blow up. You got to put like money behind you. It's a, it's, right. a, it's a money game. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Because a lot of people got hard music. It's not a music. You know what? You feel me? So it's mm -hmm. like the music's there. That's a check already. You just got to have. You got to pay these at? certain things and mm. these certain playlists <laughs> and shit like that. And it's, it's fucked up. That's what it comes to. I but mean, it's, it's an investment. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you got you to you invest in yourself. Niggas got to see that you believe yeah. in it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like that. I feel yeah. like that's how it goes. Like. If yeah. you really believe in it, you will put your money up. And we, niggas will see that and be like, yo, this nigga really believe in himself. But like I said, shit be expensive. That's what that's why yeah, people they ain't got the money, guys. By like they need to go labels, apply you know for I mean? another Those job signs. and maybe not rap. It's just it's just it's different. It's like different <laughs> obstacles you could go through. Like you know what I mean? Like I'm watching this Wu Tang shit, Master Killer was a cab driver. Yeah, like, that Wu Tang shit hard too. <laughs> yeah, like that, that shit is real rap. Capadonna was, was also a cab driver. You know what I mean? Yeah, so it's uh, like people got too much pride. You know that's not happening. You know it's crazy. I don't know one Wu Tang song. But yes, I think it's just because my generation. You know Cream. That's crazy. I, I know Cream, but I got I to gotta hit you, feel what I'm saying? Bring the motherfucking ruckus. That's it. I don't know nothing of you, But I know they like, for me, I know. I, don't I respect my <laughs> elders. I know they legends and shit, for me? But I, I don't, I, I just don't. You got an iPhone? You yeah. are a son of a hip hop legend, my nigga. You just, <laughs> say, like, just go, just Google Wu Tang and play the songs, bro. Nah, see what you fact, like. Fact, fact, you know what I mean? Fact, like, ice it, cream. Yeah, How many albums is there? But, um, with the group together, I don't know. Ooh. I couldn't tell you how many. Is it one I, is it, or two? There's a lot. There's a lot of them. Bro. Okay, I see. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Didn't um, know that. there's a lot. Like right. there was Wait, one individual why? album they sold to the nigga, uh, Scarelli. Fact, familiar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rizzo did that. They sold shit, it right? like art. They sold it like a piece of art <laughs> on some right. shit. Yeah. Um, Wu Tang is historic. I mean, Scarelli I, nigga, scumbag though. He's, oh yeah, yeah. He's a dirtbag. Uh, you know, <laughs> dirtbag. A lot of but them they, in the industry. When you let a Saxon in, what you expect? 
You know what I mean? Not violence. all of them are like that. Come on now. Not violence. Not all of them. Not all of them. Not all of them. <laughs> Who do you think is the top no, five in Boston like right now? Cold. As far as the scene out here that you know of, it was five names. Mm. Now, you already said Stizzy. You ain't got to put it in order. Yeah, there you go. You said Stizzy. This, I mean, that's underground or, or just period? Period. period. How, however you classify yeah. Shit, I mean, there's a lot of people. I, mean, I just really don't be knowing names, honestly. I'm, I'm bad with names. I know G.O.D.'s hard. I know he's in the yeah, Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. Hard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When I was growing up, I was hearing his name a lot, like high Chef school all the time. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? Like, so, but there's other artists too. I just don't know their names. You know what okay. I mean? So that's okay. a hard question for me to answer. Okay, that's fair. Because I, mean, I be in other states. You and I was going to say, you've so been I away really, for a little while. Fact, so you, fact. You, so the people I listen to is people I know. People you know personally. Like, okay. Who do you feel like he doesn't know that he needs to be listening to? Yeah, you tell me. You just, exactly. I mean, there's a lot. I mean, you know, you know, there's. Give uh, me your top five that I should listen to. Nah, I don't do that. Um, this is good. Uh, <laughs> damn. Top five right now. I did this. I did this a few weeks ago, right? Top five. Give me your top five. Then we do something bad for the community. I'm not right doing now, I, I do uh, uh, Body Rock, Eight Zip, uh-huh. uh, Oompa. Mm. Uh huh. Uh, who's working right now as I speak? Exit fame. Millie's? Ooh. And Millie's. If we're going to put Millie's in there. Why yeah, would we not? I forgot Millie, about Millie's. I feel like hard. Millie's is a separator. Millie's. Nah, he's hard. Bro's you, hard. If we say, when I say Boston, I mean Boston and surrounding areas. All right, I man. hate the whole, oh, he's not from Boston yeah. conversation. Yeah. Nah, 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 nah. When yeah. I say Boston. We are in Massachusetts. It's a short word for Massachusetts. Right. I was referring I was referring to Millie's as plateau. The rappers I mentioned aren't on the plateau that, that Millie's on. is on. Yeah, yes. I never heard like, of like, yes. but yeah, I'm check You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm Millie's up. is touring yeah, worldwide. He's like, he's Jada okay. Kids is putting chains on my okay. guy right now. Like, yeah. shit looks yeah. good yeah. for yeah. Millie's. Yeah. Like, yeah. niggas yeah. shout out to Millie. Yeah, yeah, yeah niggas get knighted on dogs, bro. You know what I mean? Like, Kiss, who is in a lot of young niggas' top five, and probably in my top 10, top five, is. Was he on the top fifty for Billboard? If he wasn't, yeah, oh, Millie's kids, kids. No, kids. Oh. kids has to be. Kids has. I don't know. We don't. We don't have to I don't even know. But let's just assume, bro. For the should, sake of he Billboard, should have been in there for the sake yeah. of Billboard. Now yeah, I want to check. Sake. Nah, the kids gotta be there. Kids gotta be there. I don't know, buddy. I, I, I don't think. If, how is Kiss not there? Oh, yeah, is that yeah. talking? Yeah. Like, what is that? They got Jaden Smith. Forty six. He's all the way up there. I thought that was Jaden Smith. Nigga, that is MC like. Nah, that shit is crazy. Yeah. My, my man like, said nah. David Smith. Nah. That's hilarious. Because <laughs> <laughs> the cut is wild. How you even get that? Who is that? that? Melly, Melly Mel. Mel. He's man oh. buff now. You know what I mean? Oh, you don't look like that no more. Yeah. 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 You stupid. Wow. You stupid. Stupid. Jada Kiss is 40. Yeah, that's crazy. Kiss seems to be way higher than that. I mean, way you know, at least he made the top 50, right? Because there goes the commercial success thing, right? The yeah. game better not be on there. I think he was. What, what do you? What do you? What do you, what do you define as success in the rap game? Sales, record sales. I don't record know. sales, I, like pretty much. So like, so that's, you that's asking my nigga? Yeah, record <laughs> sales, <laughs> record okay. sales. So like, okay. like getting plaques if your shit gets plaqued or, or yeah, certified yeah, yeah. or not. To okay. me, that's like putting the shot up and hitting a missing. You feel mm. what I'm saying? So like that's what I consider. Michigan then bring no black? Michigan's close to being gold. Okay. It's, you feel me? It's close to being gold. I think gold is like seventy five million streams okay. for, for one song and that is it's right streams. under it. It's that right, shit wow. is like sixty five or sixty seven. That shit is getting wow. close. close. You're gonna get your plaque. Wow. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Wow. Damn right. It's gonna keep going. You don't have any other gold plaques? No, I don't. No? That'd be my okay. first one. That'd be my right, first be fired, that shit's man. gonna have room for you. I appreciate it. Just play that shit back to back once you niggas get out of here, nigga. That's my shit. Play that shit. It's on my playlist. You know what I mean? I'm thinking. Fisting, yeah, freaky. Bitch. Oh, oh wow. wow. <laughs> it's you today. Hey, this thing, is, this thing is you. he's stuck on the fisting, man. Yeah, you know what I mean? What's he, up with you, my nigga? I was watching a clip from another <laughs> show earlier. They were referring to fisting. It's been a oh week of just you know, fisting. <laughs> Not for me, not for me, not for me, like, not for me. It's been a week of fisting. Right, I'm like, wait, what? 
Let me find I out. I'm trying to think if I dab uh, your hand or not. Yeah, I'm going to wash my hands, man. I gave you pounds. <laughs> <laughs> not, a, not a whole seven days. <laughs> What the fuck? I can't even get this image out of my head now. Come on, y'all. Right. Right. Let's go. All Come right. on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's... All right. Let's move on from that, man. <laughs> What's wrong with you, <laughs> Siblings, let's talk about that. Sorry, if you don't mind. No, don't mind. We can I'm keep mind. it brief. So you are, of course, the brother of Coyle Ray. Coyle Ray's your sister. How you want to big put brother, it? though. Big brother, you know you're mean? older. Yeah. She got two other older brothers, though, so I'm not the only one. Yeah. Same mom, same dad? You're the most important one. We got one. different moms, so she got two got other older brothers on Benzino, her mom's side. Benzino, hello. You're the famous one. And she got Rapper. a younger brother on her mom's side that me and her share the same dad. Taj. Wait, say that again? Yeah, Taj. So she got two older brothers on her mom's side, mm -hmm. and then she has a younger brother on her mom's side also, mm -hmm. but we share the same dad. Got so it, me, got Koy it. So me, and Taj, um, yeah. different mothers, right. the same father. Right. Got it. Okay. Did y'all all grow up together? Yeah, I would always see him like maybe like five months out the year, six months out the year, because um, they was living in um in Boston, and Takor was probably like I forgot the age, man, maybe seven or maybe six or eight, something like that. And then they moved to Jersey. They moved to Saddle River. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when they had moved to Jersey, I would only see them like on vacations or weekends. You right. know what I mean? So you but guys didn't grow up in the same household. Um, unless I was with my pops, you know what I mean? Okay. Um, and then she had moved down to Atlanta. Uh, when we lived in Atlanta, she went to high school in Atlanta for like two years, a year and a half, two years. So we was in the same household in Atlanta for like two years. So what was that relationship like? Because I, I have a sibling. You have a sibling. I have multiple siblings. Sorry, Cash. Um, you know. You know, I had the typical I'll be sibling rivalry. Niggas. Yeah. I, me and my brother did not get along. Like, we're 22 nah, we months along, apart. She's and, my you know, only sister. He, She's so, your only sister. Yeah, yeah, she's my only sister. I got mad brothers, so we ain't never had no problems. Really. So none at all? What's your best memory of you and Corey growing up? Oh, shit. We used to always, like, like so, like, it might sound kiddie, but so my pops, we had, like, a big crib in, um, in Jersey and Saddle Road, right? Mm -hmm. So we used to always, like, <laughs> she had mad V, 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 uh, HS tapes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Used to stack them shits up and make like castles out of them. You know okay. what I mean? We do it late night, two, three in the morning, and then we'll wow. knock, knock knock them shits good. over. And my pops and her mother be pissed as fuck. Cause <laughs> we doing that shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. We doing them shits high, like stacking yeah, mountains and yeah, shit. shit. I love that. And you know when you little, that. everything look big. It probably yeah, wasn't now. Nah, nah we're, 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 we're probably like four feet, three feet. Right. You know what I'm saying? To us, oh, that shit shit. Yeah, fact. Yeah. Like nigga, I'm on a chair. Fact. Fuck is you talking about? Men in black, bitch. <laughs> do you think there was any way that you could have been a better sibling like in, in any type of way because you know like as as you grow up there's the typical like nah, i was saying sure. sibling rivalries we, and we, stuff. We, like i said we got different moms so I, this, I guess times i could have been more in contact with her because there was times like i said i was living in different states than her mm -hmm. so we would see each other but it would only be like when my father would fly us in together you know what i mean right. whether i'm with him or She's with him and he flies me. You know what I'm saying? So vice versa. But that's the only thing. You know what I'm saying? Just the same thing with my younger brother. So I try to do that now with him. We were just talking a couple of days ago. With Taj? You know I mean? Yeah, me okay. and Taj. Okay. Like, sent him a little bread. He be working you know, in California. He worked at an awful lot of cough syrup. He rap and he model. It's dope. Like, I'm so proud of him. He graduated high school. Yeah. Shit's dope. Like, it's fire. Fact, fact. Shit's dope. Shit's yeah, dope. I love that. I feel like niggas under pressure, man. They got to rap. They got to, they got to, you know what I mean? Put hard, on, like, hard, yeah, yo, who's too. your dad, yo? Zeno. <laughs> what you <laughs> say? Who? who? What you say? Say what you <laughs> say. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, the swordsman, Zeno. Yeah, you never seen You know what I mean? Like, that shit is tough. So niggas got to show up. I like that. <laughs> Fuck my dad. You should have been something. <laughs> wow. This nigga's triggered right now. Daddy issues. I got it off. I got it off. Daddy issues over here. Nigga. I got it off. I got it off. So, so I know you, I, I, I read somewhere that, that you in the fashion, man. Yeah. And you want to get into the fashion world, right? Yeah, for sure, for sure. We recently did a fashion, like we, we, we went to a fashion show. Oh, shit, that's right. In New York. Um, and with you, like, like how, how, how heavy you want to get into that lane? I want to start, you know, a clothing line, like a cut and sew clothing line one day. Yeah. You know what I mean? That all comes with, you know, time. If, you know what I mean? I don't want to put a half-assed job into it and not put 
my full undivided intention into it because I know yeah. right now it's in rap, you know what I'm saying, and in the music. Right. So once I accomplish things I got with the music, I can switch over to that side. You know what I mean? And do what, what I want. What do. does that look like? What? Like as far as like accomplishing what you want in music, like before you start diving into that. I got some plaques. I want to mount the plaques. Okay. I need to be. You know what I'm saying? So my next few tapes. So like, Travels World One. When I dropped that, it it didn't amount to a plaque, but I did like. If I don't count Michigan, because Michigan was on it. Right. If I don't count Michigan, I did like, I think I did like 30 million streams or something like that. That's still I might have did more. I might have did like 40. That's 50. impressive. I got to honestly, man. I got to. It's up there. It's up there. me. Hold but on, my so second one. How the fuck do you get a plaque? What's how, What's the first number you got to get Now, honestly, I think for, so you see how I said it was 75 million? Yeah. I think you got to do that per song. Okay. Wow. Mm. To get a like a, a, a plaque for that album. Okay. Or one song has to accumulate to that many uh, streams you can get. Mm. I think I'll okay. for that album. Don't miss, uh, like quote me, but I'm, if I'm not mistaken, it's like 750 million okay. for gold. Okay. And, and I think it's 1.5 billion for platinum. Right. So double platinum wow, would be 3 billion. Done, done Triple platinum everything. would be wow. 4.5 billion. You know yeah. I mean? So, so you want to get a plaque first before you start really diving into fashion. Yeah, I just want, I just want my music to be, you know, um, I get it. More well versed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but I mean, because the, with that money, I could, you know what I'm saying? I could like, kind of like, not to compare me to Kanye, because you know what I mean. I like Kanye, but I'm not, I'm not Kanye. You know what I mean? I don't want to be Kanye, but kind of right. like how he did it. I know he always loved fashion, but right. he had to take that music money okay, first. You I know see. what I mean? And okay. do his thing in the mm -hmm. music industry for him to really focus. And then he, sw he switched his focus over, and now he's, you know what I mean, full on mm -hmm. fashion. You know what I'm saying? I'm right. just thinking of the benefit of multitasking. Like, nah, for sure. It's at good. It's good to be angles. doing that. It's good to do that. And I, I need to do it. I need to do it. I need to Adderall? stop being lazy. I ain't never done Adderall. <laughs> I need to do it. I'm in the ah. downers. I ain't really in the uppers. Oh, you I like, in the like, downers? Yeah, I'm in the downers. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm a downer. Can't really. Nah, I'm wrong. Yeah. Adderall. I'm off the Addy right now. Whenever you, <laughs> whenever you, whenever you <laughs> get over your, your hangover, like <laughs> Adderall, Adderall bro. Yeah. get you oh right up, God. nigga. What? I gotta try it. Yins and ting. Don't do man. drugs, kids. No, yeah, not don't drugs. drugs. Your doctor could write you all these drugs. That I don't about. give a fuck. Y'all are abusing that influence, right? That influence. Relax. Nah, I'm gonna definitely try it one day. A little piece, a little piece. Y'all fuck with psychedelics, like the mushrooms? Nah, I'm not ready. I said the nah. same time. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm, I'm not ready. I'm nah. not ready. I'm nah, straight. I'm not ready. I'm you know what's ready. crazy? So let me tell y'all a crazy story, right? Yeah. So for the first time, I tried mushrooms in Vegas <laughs> for my girl's birthday. Yeah. Right? So I didn't know you were supposed to microdose. Okay. I bought like an ounce of Oh, you ate the... You Go ahead. Go yeah, ahead. Let him tell the story. Her it. <laughs> Go ahead. And I probably ate like a seven or maybe eight oh, grams of it. I ate a lot oh, of it. Shit. You know they did I mean? like they did me like no that with Molly. No one told me. No one told me. That's how they did me with Molly. Go ahead. <laughs> I what around. happened? We were supposed to go to the club. We ended up. You didn't make it. I didn't make it. I went the elevator. I went downstairs. The elevator door opened up. I puked everywhere. Oh. oh. We in a nice hotel. I forgot where it was. The MGMs. People oh, yeah. crazy. Don't worry, they throw up. El Salvadorians there to clean it up. You feel me? Don't worry. Then I go upstairs and I'm tripping out. And they, she was downstairs taking pictures with her friends. They didn't end up going her. And she her. wasn't tripping. Also, she, she handled wasn't it well. Wow. She wasn't tripping as hard as me. So I think I took more, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, you know she's I mean? done it. She's done it before. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. You never know. Maybe. But I fuck around and broke my pinky toe upstairs. Oh, oh you. <laughs> How the fuck you do that, bro? How you break the how you, toe? How you, yeah. How you, how you break the pinky toe, man? I fuck around and broke my pinky toe upstairs. So I'm just upstairs. Like I said, I'm tripping, man. I'm in the mirror just looking at myself. <laughs> Fuck around. So now I'm looking at my feet. You feel me? Pause. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm just looking at my no, feet for like an hour. Why this nigga was why? tripping off the shroom. So I don't got no up. foot fetishes what? or nothing. You feel me? Like I'm not in the feet. I'm not. I'm not a feel me. I'm not no foot person. But for some reason, I was just looking at my. I was looking at my feet. So and you said, "Let me just break this shit." Nah, I got up to open the door for my girl, and I'm running. To open the door, and I hit my. I don't tripping, man. You feel know I me? Mean? And I hit my my pinky toe on the chair, and they got like a steel leg. Oh my so broke god! My pinky toe. Shit was fucked up, bro. Yeah, you was tripping yeah. off your ass. Ruined my whole you trip. And that was like the first day of the trip. So it you went my from whole a size trip. nine to a size eight. <laughs> <laughs> fucked up the whole trip for me. He was tripping in the oh, hotel room, man. looking in the mirror, talking about no, oh, dude, <laughs> that, that was my yeah. Oh, oh damn! You oh. ever did shrooms again after that, or not? Nah, that was it. 
Um, I'm not gonna lie, I've tried it, yeah, one, but it wasn't a lot. I just did some chocolates, did a okay. couple of chocolates. Mm. I'm scared, and of it that didn't shit. give me the effect as the mushrooms. As the mushrooms, was it colors and shit? What is it? Did I see colors? Yeah, nah, it's like so you you know, like the Grand Theft Auto, right? You know that the mode, like when they get high, you play Grand Theft Auto, yeah, yeah. you know, the mode when they get high, when well, bro, like, have yeah. you ever seen when we smoked, like, yeah. when it's just mad, like. Just hazy and shit. Yeah, that's yeah. really what it is. You're like, just yeah. like, yeah. It's, okay, wow. That's weird. That's weird. I could do without that. I could do without that. <laughs> yeah, I'm straight. straight. I'm, I'm, I'm straight. I'm straight. I'm not into drugs. You know. I like drugs. I think drugs are excellent. Yeah, I like yeah, uppers. I mean, I, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, but I know too much uppers, you dead. You know what I mean? Too, too like much downers, like, you dead too. Like the first time I did Molly, like niggas gave me Molly and was like, yo, we all doing it. Here you go. And I did it right, niggas like, hey, why, they, everybody watching me. I'm like, why everybody watching me? I ain't think nothing of it. I just did it like, oh, yo, you just did the whole <laughs> shit. We did the whole shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. That's They're a like, fact. oh, shit, yo, yo, how you feeling, yo? I'm like, yo, nigga, fuck y'all. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Like, this nigga niggas Cash. watching me like an exhibit. <laughs> niggas like, oh, look at this nigga. This nigga Cash movie. seen a girl he never met before in his life. My nigga, he sees this girl, he grabs her, and they hugged for like a good three minutes straight. <laughs> they are off the molly. Man. They didn't say a word. They was just hugging. Now we was talking. They was getting some off. You feel me? They both had a long talking. day. Man. And she just walked off. And I'm like, yo, you know her? He's like, nah, I just met her. <laughs> oh, <thank you. laughs> The so Molly had me going, nigga. I was like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, see, uppers is different. We was in the club at 2 o'clock when they turned the lights off. And what year was this? If you don't mind me asking, how long ago was this? 20, 2013. When was that okay. lick, Chase? Yeah. <laughs> You gotta chill. This is my time to exit. 20. I ain't about to fucking incriminate me. Mm-mm. I don't want to be a part of this bullshit, man. 2013. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, uh, nigga. We was in a club two in the morning. Years. Like, yo, Molly was crazy. Like, uppers and shit. Like, this that's before why Molly was mainstream. Before it was popular. We yeah. didn't even know how to sell the shit. So we was, was just doing it. Was it in capsules? <laughs> yeah. It wasn't in capsules. It was in capsules. It was in capsules. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we was opening them shits up. It Busting looked, it open, yeah. Yo, it looked crazy. It was crystally yeah, yeah. as fuck. It is crazy, man. And I ain't never seen no shit like that ever since. But, you know what I mean? That's another story. Y'all ever tried the pink Molly? You know, That's they what we joint. had. Yeah. Y'all had the pink joint. Y'all, yeah. had, y'all had the pink Himalayan. What it was, the it was fuck? some What's premium. That's just work. what I called it. You feel me? Pink they got the pink, pink Himalayan. Our shit was pink. You know what I mean? Our God shit was pink. Damn, bro. You know what I mean? Shit for the- I mean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am concerned. This is crazy. But either way, man, either it was way. a good time. It was this a great experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What um, a time to be alive. Yeah, yeah right. The only time I took downers and like shit that brought you down was with chicks. Like I knew a chick that was like, yo, you want to have sex? Let's take a perk. Like, Word. Yo, so you ain't never did the lean? You know, fuck with codeine? Nah. I tried it. I tried it. I tried it. I tried it. But it was just scary because it was like, nigga, this is just sugar water. Nigga. I'm just drinking mad shit. <laughs> I'm drinking it mad fast. And niggas like, yo, damn, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be asking for a refill right now. Like... You drink this shit. Like, I was just like, like, what was I supposed to do with this shit? Then you're like, it tastes like Coke. <laughs> like, like, I, I was very confused. Like, yeah, nah, man, like nah, drugs right. hit different with lean. Like, nah, I'm, I'm all set on. I'm me. not. You ain't never, you never tried to lean. Nah, I'm, I'm just. I, I know what effect that's gonna have on me. I don't even smoke weed no more. You understand what I'm saying? Do you smoke you hookah? Do I smoke hookah? Not anymore. Okay, but see, nah. hookah bad for you. It is. Yeah, hookah's terrible. They hookah's do have. <laughs> they have the ones with the the all natural vegetable or what? What is it like the fruit the vegans, thing? Nigga. Niggas in Saudi Arabia been smoking hookah for years. Yeah. First time you I smoked I mean? hookah yeah. was a fourteen year old. I was at his crib. This nigga. You Syrian, <laughs> right? Nigga, he, yo, he was fourteen, nigga. <laughs> we was Syrian. nigga. Was, he's Syrian, nigga. But it's probably not like it is here no. in America. They don't have all that extra shit. It was worse, nigga. Do. Like he was starting. They probably got it, it from home. They probably got yeah, that from Syria. Like, right. This was like tobacco still. Yeah. Like, yeah. like yeah. At fourteen. 14, like yeah, they nah. after dinner, they have the hookah. Yeah, it was like, like this is, yo, you know this mean? is what they do. Like, I don't know how Dominicans got it, but what Dominicans got it, it was a rap. Yeah, you know yeah, Dominicans mean? got it, it became mainstream. Yeah, right. you, do you believe that hookah's a woman thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah? why? Yo, I cannot. Huh? Why? Here we go. Why? Why? I gotta break it down for you. Yeah, I, I looked at my man. It. He looked so disappointed because you got it. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to think of like. Cause, all right, yeah, keep this. Keep this. Is this something that you're gonna you gotta put a tip in it, right? You gotta put something. 
You gotta put keep going. Pause. Here we go. Pause. You gotta put some. Yep. You gotta put some. You gotta put some in it first for you to have for yourself because you don't want to share with the next person. Uh huh. Why do you want to do something that you know that you're gonna? You feel? People ain't doing that with blunts. You don't see nobody like all right. Let me put a tip on this blunt. Women. You know why? Because when you're doing that hookah shit, you gotta put it all the way in your mouth. You sucking on it all type of. You feel what I'm saying? All right. What about the hookah pins though? Like that's safe for the men, right? Vape or. It's, it's whatever who can pin vapes I, I don't do it but it's, it's teachers it's own man, nigga. Man. and i heard it's bad for you like my man almost died off of, um he was in a hospital for a while he had like heart problems his heart almost failed off him it almost failed on him because of a vape those yeah because of vapes my heart's strong it's not almost failed on him. <laughs> that's why i still roll up my weed dog yeah he was big he was wow. a big person lost mad weight like skinny like me he was in the hospital like he almost died I believe it. Nah, no, I believe it. All the people are you lose it, nigga. No, Niggas with AIDS healthy. lose weight. That's yeah. not a good way to yeah. lose weight. You so stupid. <laughs> Those are not healthy. They're not. They're not. I don't think any drug, any of that. I'm going to say is hookah. Nah, I mean, you know, some nah. drugs. Hookah no. was a, a, a Arab man thing, okay? Mm. Bitches wasn't even smoking hookah. They wasn't allowed to do shit so I, over there. I take it you First must. Off, you must smoke hookah. You must I mean, like occasionally. <laughs> I'm not a. I'm not. I can't, I can't. I'm not the demanding in his foot. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. First I'm, off, <laughs> bitches wasn't smoking no hookah. Got my voice cracked. Bitches wasn't smoking no hookah. All right? It was a man thing in the 1900s. <laughs> <laughs> oh dog! <laughs> nah, it ain't, nah, no, it ain't nothing wrong with it. That's yeah, yeah, funny. It, but nah, if niggas smoking, club, niggas blowing smoke into the camera with the shit. That yeah, shit is that. Nigga, you holding something? Yeah, you feel me? Is. Blowing smoke and shit. <laughs> Mass smoke coming out your mouth. Yeah, take your pictures like, with the hookahs. Like, like the dragon from Shrek, you nigga. Know? Like, <laughs> Y'all ain't never did that. You're taking pictures with the hookah. Oh, you ain't never let the smoke come out your nose and get, you know, like take a shot. With my blunt, not with the hookah. Yeah, with the blunt. But you know, you in the vibe, like you die, doing yo, your for thing. You, you in the vibe. Nah, nah, nah. You know what I mean? You just, you just you smoking see, whatever. You see, he got a hookah at home. You know what I mean? He got a hookah at home. For sure. Niggas who got a hookah at home, yo, you a wild. He got a hookah night. Yo, he got a hookah night. If you watch any basketball games, if you watch any NBA basketball games with a hookah, yo, my nigga, yo. Oh, my, my wife, my wife's Dominican. <laughs> that is not acceptable, bro. My wife's that Dominican. Y'all niggas gotta let me live. Nah, you Your can't buy it in two, yeah. nigga. Nah, she she don't, nah, we don't smoke hookah. All right, whatever. So you telling me for the Super Bowl you had like different hookah flavors? Nah, nigga, you had the sauce. <laughs> going crazy right now. Give me some hookah from Kansas City and Philadelphia. Let me get two different colors. Let me get the green John and the red John. No, we wasn't doing that. We we wasn't doing all of that. Okay. But you know, what I mean, I just. I just, you know, what I mean, what the reason why I brought that up is I saw uh, the the the, uh, the zesty Santana nigga talking about it. Yeah, um, and like I just don't Wait. understand. <laughs> Yo, what? I'm the, fucking. I don't understand how a man. His name is Sauce. I'm about to yeah, I'm about to say whatever, zesty. whatever. What the fuck is that? Zesty. Oh, what? I know you talking about. I know you talking about. <laughs> how a man who don't want to be a man telling men how to be men? That's a nigga in a wheelchair. Nah, that's what he agree with me. He said right, nigga shouldn't so. smoke hookah. Yeah, he was coming at uh, envy. And I'm like, when when gay niggas start coming at straight men about shit, <laughs> that's oh, where I draw the line. The world's, on, the world's <laughs> like, coming to an end. It's like, nigga, you don't even want to be a nigga. Shut up, bro. Like, Why you got an opinion? Smoking Why hookah, you have an opinion? Seeing that shit. Don't, don't you <laughs> like, oh, hell I would never let a gay man <laughs> tell me how to be a man. That's a fact. You know that's what I mean? Fact. That's insane. Once you switch over, I don't think you should have an opinion. No, shut up. Just yeah, do right, your right, gay right, shit right. and shut up. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's it. You know what I mean? Like, niggas ain't judging you, bro. Don't be coming over here Fact. talking about the shit that been producing life, nigga, for years. <laughs> Generations. You mad. <laughs> you you are mad. You know, regular shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But whatever. They got that gross. <laughs> so what's up, man? What's next for Chavo, bro? Um, Chavo's World 3. Uh yeah. I'm dropping that. Me and P gonna work on another tape. It's gonna be the last Travels World. Okay. Um, we're gonna name something else after name it something different. The next tape. Out. Um, and I got other tapes with other people I've been working on. I got the, um, this kid from Boston. <clears throat> He's a producer, and um, and then the other person's a rapper. They just paid me to do a tape, so we're gonna probably be dropping that like in the next month. Okay. okay. 
You, you don't want to say their names or, or, or no, you, you wait, wait, for, wait, for wait for that check? Yeah, you wait for that check to clear. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, the check clear, but I'm just bad with names, man. I ain't gonna lie, you bad with names. We good. That's terrible. Yeah. We good. We good. We good. <laughs> he said that's terrible. You, you gotta do better than that, my nigga. Like <laughs> niggas done put money in your pocket, you forget yeah, their name. Nah. You say your name was again? But nah, they didn't twenty thousand. They didn't pay <laughs> me to get your cash. App. <laughs> they didn't pay me What's to come cash. App, they didn't pay me to come on on the podcast. You feel them? You feel them saying that? Very true. Very true. Real nigga shit. Really? You got any R&B collaborations? I don't, but I want some. I love R&B. What kind of R&B you listen to? <laughs> a lot of like '90s and '80s old school R&B. I love like '70s soul. Ooh. Like, take my phone. I, like I can show you like this playlist I got. It's all like I can ask my girls like old '70s music. I be playing like a lot of the Ozzy Brothers. I love the Ozzy Brothers. Teddy yeah. the Grass. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, that type of Teddy, was, Teddy was before 80s. his time. Oh, Teddy '80s song. I don't I know, 80s. Was, Y'all yeah. sure? Uh, that was the 60s? I feel like he was Teddy, 60s. Teddy, Teddy Pendergrass? That's 70s, right? It must be it might be. 80s. 80s. Okay. Whatever. Okay. Before us. Yeah, like, I, I like know that. Way before I like, us. Uh, Vandross. Luther Vandross. I see somebody nah, tweet, though. No other fact. black family got the last name Vandross. <laughs> yeah, oh, shit. That's very true. I've never oh, met shit. no other black people named Vandross. <laughs> Is that his real name? Luther Vandross. Yeah. That's really his name. That's his last name. Yeah. Oh, shit. You didn't yeah. know that was his name? All of them I mean, I know, their, I, their I, real don't know if, I don't know if it was a stage name. Type yeah, shit, no, no, you know what I mean? Name, but back then, they, they names was they stage yeah, names. Yeah, they, they used their real names. names. Wow. That was nah, it. Nah, Stevie wow. Wonder's last name ain't Wonder. And it can't be Wonder. It's not, it ain't Wonder. It cannot you know what's be Wonder. Wonder. I didn't know he had so many Wonder, kids. He got like nine, ten kids. I, he I just can't be blind with the last name Busting nuts blind is insane, my nigga. I'm about to look this up, because now y'all are like, this is about to blow my mind. Because I now want to know is that his last name. I think it's Wonder. It's not. <laughs> it's not Wonder. Uh, it's Wonder. Nah, it's, it's not. not. His Wonder. name is Stephen Hardaway Morris. Right, there okay. Yeah, there's no way it could be yeah. Wonder. I that'd, thought so. That's that'd be fine, you know. I thought should have changed it. I thought yeah. But Ray Charles is Ray Charles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fucking yes. Name. Yeah. yes, yes, yes. Who are you listening to currently now? Like R&B. R&B now? Mm-hmm. Mm. Tough, right? Yeah, I like, I like, I like SZA. Mm-hmm. Hard. I really yeah. don't listen to her like that, but when I do, I like her it shit. It always like hit. Shit. Right. Like, yeah, shit's right. hard. Shit's hard. She's she's really happy right now. Yeah, SZA's hard. Well, who's ha- you said you, I'm happy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You Why? like SZA? You, you like SZA? SZA, she, she's dope. Yeah. Oh, you you thinking of Summer Walker. Yeah, I was about to say. I was, you oh, mean it's not the same bitch? Walker. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. That's, you, know, you know what I mean. Two completely you know different I mean. people, <laughs> my boy. My fault. Yeah. I'm done. I'm super done. Summer Walker, okay. Gotcha. Uh, winner runner <laughs> <laughs> that's a throwback uh okay so chavos three i mean chavos world three coming soon man yes, you got a joint album with somebody from the city you yes, can't sir. remember his name but twenty thousand. it's all good he's not even from the not- it's all good. <laughs> check clear your money good homie um you know I mean? fuck your name you know what i mean money good that's all that matter <laughs> If, if you could give the people a message right now from your perspective, what would that be? If you, like, the, anything that's on your heart, anything like that's if you're on in your the mind. music industry and you're a rapper, an upcoming rapper, and you like think um, nobody's paying attention to you, don't stop, keep dropping music because you, even when people don't think they're listening, they are. You know what I mean? Mm. You're gonna gain more fans the more you drop. You know what I mean? The more money, the more you build your catalog. You feel me? Like when you get when you do get big, when it's time to sell your catalog, you can. Ask for more bread because you got mm. a, a longer list of songs and a longer. Once you blow up, people are always gonna back, back date and listen to all your old shit. You know mm. what I mean? So always just have that catalog ready. So when you do blow up, you can get that check from that back catalog. You mm. know what I mean? Yeah. Just, just don't stop. Stay consistent. I like that. Man. I like the topic of like building the catalog to sell it. Yeah, mm. you know what I mean, because, I mean, ultimately like, that's the goal, right? Really. Like, I, I mean, like Justin Timberlake just sold his whole catalog yeah. for what? Like Justin 100 Bieber, million? Just, Justin Bieber just did his for like Bieber, Bieber, Bieber did too. Did Bieber like did too. 250. How did Bieber sell his shit for that much in the whole QC label? Sold for old boy for 300. Wait, what? A QC uh, sold a label, right? I don't um, know the whole... In- I, you know the answer to that. <clears throat> what? He's white. And he's Canadian. And you know what's crazy? The person that bought and it was Bieber's He's worldwide. Manager. Yeah, school to... Yeah, yeah. School, school to Braun, right? Yeah. Um, which was a complete business move. Um, I think Latin that made sense. T- I, I thought the Justin Timberlake move was more <laughs> impressive just because Justin hasn't made any new music in 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 a in a very long this time. This is true, yeah. yeah. Right? But the fact that you got to think about it: if you're an artist and you haven't done music in a while, but you built yourself up to be this this big name, 
you know, you've done, you know, the titty grab at Super Bowl. You toured with Jay Z. Oh, you did all of that. Right. <laughs> now there's he's only up. <laughs> there's only so much time that your your stock cash. is gonna be that yeah, high. Fact, fact. So I felt like for Justin Timberlake, that was that was that, that was, was genius. Hard. That was, hard. That was, that was hard. a good move for him. I wouldn't be surprised too if Justin Bieber didn't have some money in the um the QC thing. You feel me? Mm. That's like an investment. You feel what I'm saying? Because he just sold the catalog for two hundred, two fifty. So right. it's nothing for him to put a hundred towards a three hundred. You feel what I'm saying? Not and Scooter Braun bought the the, yeah, the QC manager. shit. Yeah, Scooter Braun had bought it, which is his manager. So what that mean? Like when you sell your catalog, that mean like. That's just for Masters. like this shit that you created. That's not Prior. new like the, shit. Yes, yeah, right. exactly. Yeah, it's old shit. It's like the yeah, royalties, yeah, and, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So they can go like license it, and put it in movies, yeah. and everything. That's what Irv Gotti's doing to Ashanti, right? So that's what he do with the whole murder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ink. My whole murder. Ink. <laughs> so Ashanti just can't create no more new shit. Like she, no, she can, and she he don't have. Can. He don't have. He has it. Yeah, I mean. So what she did was she recreated all her old songs. Yeah, but they I just didn't that. sound the same. Which but is you know, Earl probably has to get a check for that. You know what I mean? Does he? Yeah. still got to get some. I would something? assume so if it's still the old song, because he has the master. So it's technically a cover. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Cover? yeah. So you should check. But what if she switched it up a little bit? Still, I think he was still. Why can't she just make really? some new songs? You know, like even hard, if you I say guess? a word, and it's someone's song, like you got to give them credit. So like say, like think, of, give me a popular song. If I said Annie, are you okay? Yeah, and your own song, and it and it blew up. You know what I mean? You would have to give. I got paid Michael Jackson's estate. You would have to pay. Ain't that some the shit. fuck out of here? Yeah. That's God. crazy. It <laughs> happens Dang. all the time. That happened Jeez. with uh, what's the, what the nigga name from High Bridge? Uh, uh, the, the hoodie nigga. Uh, hey, a boogie. boogie. Oh yeah. The, the, the hoodie boogie. nigga. You almost had it. Yeah, a boogie with the hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> he did uh, what was that song? He had to pay the Michael Jackson estate. Yeah. It was the um, what song was that? I know yeah, what you're I talking about. I hope the weekend has to pay yeah. Michael Jackson's estate for the All dirty shit Diana shit. He yeah. does. Nigga. I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. I'm sure. Fuck. Of it. I'm sure. That's of it. crazy. Oh, yeah. He got to pay right. a lot of people. He's done a lot of covers. Last question for me though, right? What are the biggest misconceptions about Boston that you want to address right now, man? The city or the music scene? <clears throat> Both. Whatever. However you want to spin it. I feel like people be thinking Boston's last on a lot of shit. I feel like Boston's up to date on a lot of shit. You know what I mean? They try to make it seem like Boston's the country out of like the East Coast. Mm. They try to make it seem like, you feel me? Like We're the right? rednecks of the East yeah, Coast. That's really me? Connecticut. <laughs> it word. It's in Rhode Island. It's other places. But they try Delaware, to nigga. And that. Oh, fuck. <laughs> these other states that don't know, like, you know what I mean? That's what they try to. They put us in that category because all they know is New York. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, Jersey. Exactly. 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 Man. Not Vermont. <laughs> Vermont. Awesome. Talking about where niggas be at. Oh, where niggas be at. I went to Vermont one time for work. I seen a black nigga. He did a double take. Like, he couldn't believe yeah. <laughs> he oh, saw yeah. another black man. <laughs> I pulled up to the Burger King drive. Fucking drive through nigga to get my shit. That nigga was like. Oh hey, shit! Oh. Like that nigga shit. was so surprised. I looked at him the same way because I was like, "Oh shit!" You know the Spider Man meme, what? like, "Yo, yeah, right. like nigga." <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh, yo, there is no niggas in Vermont, bro. That's crazy. Ever. That's crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I get it. <laughs> but I get it. I get it though, because it really is, nigga. There ain't no service. Yeah, you know I mean, don't know where we gonna be up there. You got any last questions? I'm gonna ask my last question. What's one thing about Boston that people need to know that will draw them here to our city? Like, you know how some places they got food, mm-hmm. they got, got fashion. Like, Caribbean what is it about us? Chinese food. Mm. Our food up here is immaculate. Our Caribbean Chinese, even Italian, certain places. Top tier takeout. Yeah, 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 yeah. Top tier oh, yeah, dog. takeout. And mm. like dining, dining places. It's yeah. great. It's great. Our food's dope up here. I like that. Hmm. You know what? You don't agree? I do agree. I'm just thinking like what 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 is the what is the fast food takeout that you miss the most out of here, out of Boston? Like when you in Atlanta, Miami, whatever. Like it wouldn't even really be fast food to take out. It'd just be like certain places. You know what I mean? Like, like the, where? the, the, the Mattapan House of Pizzas, the like River Street. Oh, Girl. Man. Oh, oh, I'm just saying the only yeah. ones. You know, yeah. Flames. It's just mad different places like yeah. that. Yeah. That is not real. Niggas at Mattapan House. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, yeah, Mattapan House, man. 
Shout out my man Reggie. He's still holding Damn, it down over there. He's still there. Right. Right. Reggie's still there. Simcoe's. Golly. I just had Simcoe's. Simcoe's. Yeah. Mad real Mad quick, though. Real Mad quick. Mad you can't stand outside of Simcoe's. Oh, no, no, no. Cool. Yeah, it's not. Mad you got it. Mad Pan House doesn't see me quick. Yeah, I mean. The nigga Reggie at Mad Pan House, like, he see me, nigga. Like, it's crazy because, like, he'll be like, yo, I seen your wife in here with your son the other day. Like, yo. Oh, yeah. What the fuck? I ain't get no food yet. You know what I mean? Like, and I, like, I think it's dope because, like, I really. Only pop back in Mattapan for food. Word, to be real, like, I don't. Yeah, I don't got no family that lives. in That's Mattapan where Haitian no food Word. come from. So, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and the Roach Blunt, and the Roach Blunt. Mattapan, we invented the Roach huh? Blunt. On dog, now nah, I'm going yeah, to brothers. Yeah. Okay. No Rusty makes sense. Yeah, That's why yeah, I was smoking yeah, so many yeah, roaches, yeah, smoking so many yeah, of my pops' yeah, roaches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Came together, bro. Mattapan. When was the last time you went to brothers? Brothers, I oh, love, but I have brothers in a, minute, in a minute. They still there, though, right? Yeah, it's school. not the uh, same. It's not the same. Why you the the same. last time I went why to brothers, say that the, like reason, that? the reason why... <laughs> I'm in Roxbury now, so I like Silver Slipper. I don't go to brothers I used to no always more. hear about Silver Slipper. It's I think good. I went one it's time. Good. I haven't had it in a while, it's though, good. but if I had to choose between those two, I would say that. <laughs> the last time I went to brothers, man... There was some some nigga left his jumps on the train, nigga. <laughs> yeah. So I was just like, you know what? I don't know if this is like you know board of health approved. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I just I was like, this is kind of crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Man, the food was busting. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Always busting, man. But I just I felt the way. The health, nigga. I was the health. Like, you know what I mean? This is different. Yeah. What if, if that shit was sprinkled in my food, nigga? Fat. Crunchy ass fucking eggs and shit. You have you no know what idea. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm on you set, have my nigga. No idea. Yeah. I was like, you know what? This is the last time I'm coming here. Man. I outgrew this place. <laughs> but just because you've seen it doesn't mean that it's not happening at that places that you don't. Not nah, worried behind the behind this is the scenes. This yeah. is true. And yo, you know, I don't need the, to know. The, the I live in West Roxbury now. I'm with the Saxons. <laughs> It's the worst. I'm 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 distinguished. Now. But I I, I, I heard it in your voice. You just switched it up. I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. You heard that. I say sure. good morning, nigga. <laughs> nigga spoke his zip code. <laughs> you know, back in the in the hood, nigga, you look at your neighbor and you just nod, nigga. Yeah, you know I mean, now it's a good morning. Yeah, <laughs> good morning. Yeah, I get it. Uh, I'm in that box. Yeah. Nice. That's Did you read bad. the paper today? <laughs> I just moved to this um this crib. I just got a house. It's like maybe an hour out from Georgia. Okay, congrats. I ain't, ain't buy it. I'm renting, but it's okay, nice. Okay. You know what I mean? It's a little okay, five, six bedroom, oh, three five, floors. Five, six bedroom. Five, six bedrooms, nice. this nigga says. My yeah. girl nice. be on the Facebook talking to the neighbors and shit. Yeah, yeah. The nigga yeah. got so, mad space. Yeah, it's like it's a whole fun. mile in between you and your neighbor and shit, right? I ain't gonna lie, it's not. My neighbors is close. My neighbors okay. is close, but it's, okay. it's, it's dope. It's, it's a lot of space. I know my man, he needed a dirt bike to go to his neighbor's house and shit. Like, that's you know, crazy. Yeah. That's oh, next. Atlanta. That's next. Yeah, man, that's yeah. next. That's fire. You stay down right. south, it's gonna happen. Or in Detroit, you can buy half of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, know what I mean? you gotta Wait. stop killing Detroit, my you know nigga. I mean? Just let it go. You know what I mean? Choose what the future right. brings is what CWTFB stands for. What that shit mean to you when you hear that? Choose what the future brings. Yeah. Yes, sir. People need to be listening to these younger artists out here. Mm. You know what I mean? These old heads need to be giving these younger guys a chance. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. Then the young guys come out, you feel what I'm saying, and mm. do their thing. You feel mm. not be so judgmental on them. This nigga mm. looking straight at me. <laughs> 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 you old nigga. Uh. <laughs> so you was at the testing lab with us. Yeah, yeah. Two days prior to today. For sure. Um, the talent pool was pretty cool <laughs> in the room. Um, what did you feel about that whole experience? I liked the it. Lab? I liked it. I yeah. it was dope as hell. Yeah. I was surprised. I didn't think it was going to be like that. I thought it was going to be like a couple people. Yeah. But I know you don't like the music I like. So you, you feel me? It probably like was a couple music. people to you. I like your music. But I liked a lot of them. I liked yeah. a lot of them people. Yeah, you was using the word um, hard. Yo, yo, that was hard. Yeah. That was hard. You told me to stop using it. You told <laughs> me to stop using like, it. That's, that's, that's strong. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? For some niggas. I'm like, all right. Like, you know what I mean? That was hard. No, it's like niggas keep saying this is hard. But like. Right. But like, see, God, like said, candy hard. It's a generation gap. You feel me? Like, we're looking, our, our attention span shorter. So it's like, we're not trying to hear too much of the lyrics as much back in the day. You know what I mean? Like, back in the day, you had to do that. Like, because you had to prove yeah. yourself as a yeah. MC because that's what it was about. Yeah. Now it ain't about that. Yeah. It's really not about what you say, it's how you say it. Yes. You feel what I'm saying? This is true. So, and, 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 and I'm trying to be more receptive. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't look at me like that. Like I, I, I'm being I more just receptive. Was I like, I like a lot of like new young niggas from out here, man. Uh, uh, 
Doobie. Doobie uh, yeah, 83. I like, right. like Doobie 83. Don't dig I like Richard for the Mary. Hole. Okay, that's, that's you know good. I mean? right. um, One more. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, white boy Shay, man. We're going to give it to Shay, right. man. I like that yeah. white boy. Okay. White boy White boy got it. Nigga can't say his thing. name without saying white boy. He got him. He <laughs> got let Because his name is just Shay. So it's like. You put the white boy in front of it. It's like white boy Ray. Yeah, I mean, like it sounds better like that. White boy Shay. Yeah, that's my nigga, though. You know what I'm saying? Real nigga. My nigga. How are you going to reach back to young people here and, you know, pull them Hopefully up? Hopefully one day I can come back and, like, build a community center with some studios in it. Or even mm. just build some studios mm. out here. Or I can, mm. Like I said, I got a, um, I was talking to you guys earlier. You was asking me what PCR stands for. So yeah. it's my label paid cash record. So I want to sign people from the city. You know what I mean? Mm. But it's going to take for me to make a name for myself first right. before yeah. I can do that for anybody else. So I'm just working on that. So I could do that for other people, you know what I mean? Because yeah. there's a lot of talent in the city. So, where like would you that. want to put that center? In Mattapan? Yeah, yeah Mattapan or Roxbury. Damn right. Mattapan or Roxbury. Yeah. Sure. That's good. I, I like see that. that. I like that, man. But this has been fun, bro. Thank you. Bro. I it definitely appreciate been. you yeah, yeah, pulling yeah. up, bro. Um, you, my guy. I felt like this was necessary. For a fact. Um, a, a lot of <laughs> niggas got to tap in with you more. Like, no bullshit. Um, just not only because of, of what you're doing and what you're connected with, but because I want Boston to be represented well. You know what thank I mean? You, and you, you fucking do it right. Right. I appreciate that. You know thank what I'm saying? You, so, thank so thank you, bro. Like, for real, man. Thank uh-huh. y'all. I appreciate being here, man. This is like... The- Honestly, the best podcast I've been on. Oh, oh my, my yeah, nigga. Because hey. you was putting the pressure on. You was putting the pressure on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Real nigga. Real nigga. Real real nigga. I feel like a family vibe. You feel me? It's comfortable. Yeah, yeah you know man. I mean? You know, we, 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 uh, that's what we aim for, man. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just conversational, man. And fact. You welcome back anytime, my nigga. Nah, anytime you in the city, back. hit niggas. For a fact, y'all got to come to the A. I'll do like a special episode in the oh, A one time. You know what I mean? We do it at the yes. crib or something. You feel I me? Mean, like that. when the tape drop, we come Word, something. Nigga, the fire. biggest fucking room, nah, nigga. A fact. By the pool or some that. shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, ain't I, got, I ain't got, got one out of six I ain't going to lie to you. I ain't got a pool, but it's like it's like 4,400 square feet inside. So you know what I mean? Okay, okay. We can make a pool somewhere. Yeah, we can make a do with it, dude. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, man. This has been real, man. This is CW TFB Radio, yeah, episode yeah. 164. We have my man Chavo in the building, man. Yeah. Look out for everything he's doing. Chavo's World 3 on the way. Um, I'm Charlie Machine. She is Chanel Shante, the Empress. That's my man, Cash, Cash No, no motherfucking, motherfucking Sense. sense. Yeah, man. Bitch. <laughs> and we love y'all, man. Till next time. Yeah, yeah. We out there. Yeah. Yeah, my guy. Yes, sir. Thank you, bro.